All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 300th episode of Critical Bricks. No way. <laughs> Someday we'll get there. Someday we'll get there. Yes. All right. Um, we are a spinoff show of Friday Night Bricks, though, and do celebrate the fact that, that uh, they are pushing forward the LEGO community, and we are delving into some Dungeons & Dragons, folks. Lego and Dungeons and Dragons. Who's got show and tell? I got new dice. What's happening, folks? New dice. Ooh. I hope they're as good as your last new set of dice. Beetle oh, cool. Give you a full set plus Wait. more D sixes, plus more D eights, plus oh, wow. a lot of D twenties. Nice. That's their premium. They do premium products. At, uh, what are those made out of? I don't know. They're just the usual kind of like a, like resin resin type, dice. Like, yeah, they just got cool melted like color. polished petrified wood or anything. No, they're not fifty dollar dice, but you get, <laughs> you get a cool pin that's, oh, that's got cool. like you know this imprinted game master, and they have all the different classes. Yeah, I really like that box. It's it's very cool. Yeah. So cool. for for the I mean they've got premium stuff right but the, for 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 a set of dice you can never have too many dice uh, this is a pretty good deal so that is one of the things I have um, I got a coffee mug also from them oh nice and nice. I and will spoil I will spoil it because I'm on the on the screen right now. <laughs> Here's a hint of maybe what I'm doing for a D&D collab. Nice. Oh, nice. Purple. Oh, okay. So let me know what you guys think of this because I haven't shared it yet. And I do want us to talk about the collab and share things. But to ourselves, you know, like you, you can all, you, you know, we have our, our, our Instagram group chat or we'll get a Discord going so we don't have to spoil everything. Uh, but I plan on posting this Monday anyway with the coffee mug for mini fig mon mug Monday. So, <laughs> <laughs> holy shit, purple worm! <laughs> that is an awesome purple worm. Wow, <laughs> makes me feel like Dune a little bit too. Yeah, Dune, yeah. very Dune. Very yeah. yeah I'll, but, if yeah. I get the Dune set, maybe I'll make a joke. But <laughs> uh, this was like a day and a half. <laughs> Figured oh, out a wow. technique, and I have like yeah, all so your, your big purple worm is very impressive. Definitely not keeping his worm to himself. This is like just kind of sitting in there. What is the technique? Let's see. <laughs> I just, ah. uh, I, I really, I just built the the rings, and then in the back, uh, added a plate, so it's. It, it's attached in the back and attached in the front, and it's just kind of a. Where'd you get all of those uh, half round cylinder deals in purple? I think that was uh, event support back in the day. Ooh, Ooh, cool. So I was like, a reason to use all those pieces. That's a whole friggin' lot of purple. Let's see how it happens. And yeah, I was running out of purple, but I, I got some good angles for the mouth there. And I'm stoked on the fast, the, the, the purple worm. Rah. I love it. That's good. <laughs> nice. So that is my big what I've been up to. Um, you could almost put like a ball joint on that head so it could swivel a little. I yeah, I could attach it. Uh, I think for travel, like if I bring it for the collab, um, it might be just as long as it's stable on the sh on the table. Yeah. Uh, but I might put it at a different angle so it looks even more like coming out. So we'll see. We'll see. That's just uh, the start of a purple worm. What are you guys up to? What's going on, Larry's world? That door dashing and what's not? Uh, go around the horn if he's not ready to talk. I guess <laughs> we can go around the horn. Yeah, uh, Nikki, what's up with you? I'm going to turn on my map cam. Well, no, too much. I cannot wait for vacation. Then I can start building stuff. So it's not for another right. two weeks. <laughs> uh, Troy, what's going on in your world? Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, 
Alicia and I are trying to plan for the wedding a little bit more. And uh, wait, whose wedding? When was that? What? Alicia and I. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, not not too much. Just hanging out, going to work, coming back, doing it all over again. <laughs> Exciting. Let me get some headphones going. You guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Transition. Uh, what's going on with Bricklock? Uh, we are putting the roof of my house on right now. Oh, yeah. Building Big step right house. there. Yeah. So we're hoping to have it all on by next Friday. So the hip joint went up today. There's some 45 degree angles. They got it figure out and get that done but yeah it's 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 coming along <laughs> cool i saw another construction project where they were like building wooden box like lego bricks and i don't know what was in it but it was completely yeah. stacking like like a like oh my oven. house is made of styrofoam legos yeah <laughs> <So>. <laughs> pretty much pretty cool though exciting all right um All right, I was building a Lego set on Friday Night Bricks, and it's got like this cool shield Ooh, that is cool. for Ninjago and a is dragon. Is that the dragon one? Yeah, it's the elder dragon guy. Nice. Oh, that the, hey, is that the dragon oh. one for Ninjago? Is such a, the new a dragon, dragon one. Yeah, but he's wearing a hat like it's the Master Wu one. The old. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Cover it, Master Wu. <clears throat> Um, so that was cool. I just busted that open. Let's check the comments. Uh, let me go to the, what's going on here? Mouse scroll. Zizu was in first. What about, what do you, <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't have any giveaways on this show planned. Um, so maybe we'll be there next. Ryan with Tron. Yeah. Maybe maybe when we uh, do the next anniversary or so, and uh, if we're still doing something of the sort, because uh, I like I would like to change things up. <laughs> um, watching videos about West March campaigns and crazy <laughs> stuff that we could do, um, handing off the DM role we've already kind of uh, experimented with, so that's fun. Um, so Sizu's here, Jeff's here, and, uh, we're all here. Um, we're not all here yet, so, um, uh, Troy, is Alicia coming? No, she's first, gonna... It's okay. first Friday. Right. right. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So we're down a rogue. Oh, doggone it. Who's gonna check for traps? <laughs> Get a 10 foot pole in your inventory. Yeah. And... Our, our swords. <laughs> I thought uh, 10 foot pole, I was thinking about it. I mentioned it on Friday Night Bricks, but uh, I'm like, I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Like, and then there's definitely 10 foot poles in D&D &D to check for traps. Like, is that where that you... scene came from? But it's way, much older than that. You could just throw Reed in the room first and see what happens. <laughs> He's not here right now. So I, don't know. <laughs> I like Eric's idea. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure we'll see see those guys soon. Reed and Kevin were on Friday Night Breaks. Are mm -hmm. we missing anyone else? Mm -hmm. Mel's not that, here this time. It. He didn't check yeah. in. Last week mm -hmm. he checked in and said, I'll pop in. He killed Shalindra, though. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> she Almost. went down twice. Oh, wow. Well, you weren't here last week. No, I, did, we I, he, he I, yeah. I heard I, I heard I was missed. So was yeah, oh, yes. I need some I had a face tank things because you Oh that's know. right. I got a beef to pick with you. Oh no. Wait, are we in are we role playing already? No, you can't get it. <laughs> nope. <You> can't, can't. <laughs> this Let's, is uh... real life. <laughs> Did I say beef to pick? Did I say I mix my I oh my god, I mixed my metaphors. I'm out. I'm done for the night. I mixed a metaphor. I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. Oh my gosh. I have a bone to pick with you. That's it's okay. a beef bone. 
<laughs> we missed you last yeah. week. God, we I could know. have used you last week. I yeah, know. We I, heard. I heard. I heard. You need to I felt prioritize sleep. your life. Okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. We did miss you, though. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. So, yeah. No. No apology out. needed. This is just fun stuff. Yeah. Well, Mal showed up. Put him off to the side. Mm. All right. Expect everybody else to play. This is just the last uh, room you encountered. Uh, I'm just rebuilding it for fun and uh, making sure we got everybody here. Troy's in the room now. Here's the dolphin delighter in case we need it. And some props. That's, all right. So that's just uh, there for a recap. You guys uh, hit this room and uh, let Reed in here. Uh, Sorry, got got lost talking to a legend. My bad. Yeah, I, take your time. Take your time. Um, we're just uh, recapping. Uh, I kind of made a mistake as a DM. I will admit it. Um, I wasn't giving all the resistance to monsters with bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing resistance uh, half points. But you guys have magical weapons using uh, doing that type of damage. So I learned that I learned that uh, that should probably be full damage. We forgive you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a big mistake. I'm learning. That's kind of why I want to start over. Also, <laughs> we've learned so much. <laughs> I want to like. Chaos crew is exactly that. We are just. Nothing but chaos. And a lot, yeah. Start. Well, a lot of campaigns. I don't know. I hear both. Like some people play this long, and some people they make it to ten, and that's about it. Um, it is going to take you guys a while, um, and it's tougher with this many people. So I'd like to try to try to divvy up um, some sessions, and offer another day, and uh, maybe do two a week or. Or divvy it up and and uh, do four four to five people uh, every other week or something, but every week. But um, anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about today. Unless you guys have comments, I might try a bard on the next one if I can. Nice, yeah, nice. I like I like the idea. Of maybe like you said, maybe trying the characters like an offshoot of maybe these characters. You know, relation. Yeah. They you know, can relation. have background. Yep. They can have a background connection. Um, uh, start at level one. And uh, just part of it is there's a lot of modules uh, in the library and that's growing um, behind me that start at level one to four. And it's, it's harder to find these 10 level things and keep track of things. Um, so, so with the the uh, admittedly mistake I made, um, I'll be upfront that I I can I am the DM. <laughs> I can I can make whatever you know. I can make the rules. They can have <laughs> half damage to your weapons if I want, because um, there are more than four players I need to fight, and uh, that's where I'm at. I'm trying to balance. Uh, some of these adventures into uh, seven player formats, six player formats. So we're just um, blazing through this stuff. Yeah. Well, we slogged through this room. Oh, <laughs> it did? took us the whole session to fight uh, six gargoyles oh, wow. and uh, a diva angel. Uh, on Who turned screen. into a tree. Who, yeah, polymorphed into a tree. Yes, thank you, Larry. I was going to bring this up. Uh, this is exactly. It's almost what like that was my cue. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we were here. Yes. And all these all these circles were living or not living, just <laughs> murder, death, kills. Well, there were there. columns in this room, and they were crumbling, uh, but there were you know facades of a gargoyle, four armed gargoyles, and the center one was more of an angel figure. And one by one, they were waking up turn by turn or as they were activated by other means. 
Um, there is a black gate in this room, and we're going to bypass uh, rolling the damage and all that stuff um, because I'm going to allow a full long rest as we proceed. So as you may or may not recall, there is a goal. Do you guys know how many black gates you have de uh, disrupted? Does anybody have that in their journal? I believe it's four. Mm. Four, right? Yeah, we should have four now. If that's it, the next that is one correct. Again. You have disabled, disrupted four, and I believe the first one you left open. That yeah. seems about right. Okay. So six? knowing that, and a recap, and uh, where you are in the map, you're in this Gollum lab structure. Uh, can, uh, and tonight we're going to start all over again because it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding. Yeah. Happy 300th again, everybody. Um, so, <laughs> so if you've you, and I, I'm, I'm trying to make this because it's very complicated in the DMs manuals, a, a little easier on you guys. And for me, um, as far as the white gates and the black gates. So you only need one more. Where do you want to go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh um, right. Where's all the treasure? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, there was no treasure in the last room. I might fix that if... Uh, We'll fix that a little bit going forward, but you guys, y'all have magic items. Well, according to our map, and the last, uh, this is the nearest black gate, but we've got two, one or two rooms to go through to get to yeah, it. Yeah, keep it right about there. So, Where are we at? Which room are we, are we at right now? So we're uh -huh. here. Oh, okay. Right under the laboratory word. You yeah. can yeah. go northeast. And then uh, if you go that look, way. Just like the pillars that we just battled. So, yeah, let's do that again. Yeah, <laughs> room full of somethings. Or you go or through this. Or we can go this... down here to the. Yep. I, I, I don't know what those are, but they look smelly. They look like big raw creatures. <laughs> Piles of something. Yeah. And then uh, in, you'll have to get through that, that room. Place. Exactly. So if you go up here. They look like six kind of statue things guarding this black gate. Yeah. I think we can bang this out in three hours. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you got Troy now. So. The next room. I, I believe well, we've been averaging. Uh, there might have been one or two there where we didn't uh, disrupt a black gate, but um, a, a decent average um, of getting a black gate done. Even though last week was kind of a slog, it was a room with a black gate black gate so so all right if that's your target which direction do you want to get there oh boy i mean i think we go straight northeast yeah northeast we don't want to go down to that pit. and hang a right uh, yep. yeah we don't want to go to that great big pit they look no, like piles of, piles of bones or something yeah they look like golems yeah i'm sure they're gonna turn into great big golems yeah, i'm just saying because we're in the Gollum Laboratory. That's the only reason. All right. Um, so how um, uh, how do you guys want to move forward? Uh, uh, that's the path. As, as everybody rested up, uh, you've got your spell slots. You've got yep, your hit dice. Yep, yep. Ready to go. Any questions out of game? Uh, we we did learn. We know we... We are trying to patiently learn of things. If you have any questions about the mechanics, like the non-magical, magical impacts, uh, it'd be nice to do that before or after. Yeah, just explain that to me one more time, if you could. So the players were, uh, so you would attack with your sword, and uh, you would do 10 bludgeoning or piercing or slashing damage. Well... Uh, some of these monsters are getting resistant to that type of damage. But in the book, it says resistant to slashing um, if it's a non-magical weapon. Gotcha. Okay. So as a DM, I have to 
like, no, you have magical weapons that you're slashing with, or right. Larry's bow is magical, so are his arrows magical, you know? Um, and I guess we're going to go with yes. Whatever and is from the bow. Moving forward, um, I don't feel too bad about where we, how we got to this point, because I've had to juice these monsters to live up to what you guys are throwing down. So I don't feel too bad. At, you know. If it makes you feel any better, Jesse, if I use my crossbow, it's totally not magical. Nice. You can feel free to use four resistances on those. Shots. Okay. <laughs> Just saying, right. like, can't you know, wait for that have, to happen. I do not have enough weapons. So if you want to hear the ping ping off, like, whatever. And I am <laughs> so going to railroad you to only a crossbow. I, I, nice. appreciate, <laughs> I, I appreciate do it. Because I would uh, think bludgeoning would be would do more damage to a, a rock face than slashing or piercing, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's just well, magical. Uh, uh, non -magical. Vampire skeletons and and some you know some of these ghostly things are are resistant to some of that right. non magical now, damage. Now okay. with now that shatter spike or whatever that Holy Swiss has now would that work? Since it's magical and it does some stuff, will it do more? Will it effectively do damage then to the rock stuff? Correct. Because it would shatter. I was, an thinking, I was just thinking about that actually, and I thought maybe it wouldn't because they're technically still creatures, but just made of rock. But yeah, I'll take it. It's all about the the language to me. It's like you tell me you did ten pure slashing damage with your sword. Well, I know the my they're you know they're they're resistant to slashing damage in my head. So I, right. was, I wasn't doing the extra step of, is it magical slashing? Yeah. So, but he's, saying, but he's saying for Shatter Spike, is is the body part of one of the rock creatures considered an object? Because if it is, could he shatter an arm? Could he shatter? Oh, an arm? right. No, because I would get a critical um, hit for that. No, it's a it's a creature. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you can aim for weapons if they're holding a big mace. Or oh, that club. would be an object. You're right. That would work. Yeah. Okay. You know, that, that's oh. kind of what it's geared to. Um, yeah. You fight another person, equal match, both having swords. Bam! You okay. kill their sword. That's yeah. what you're targeting. Cool. Good call. Uh, cool. That's that's where we're at. Anybody else? Any other power ups? Anybody? Leveling up, we gave out 200 XP to the people that were there. 2000. We'll just... 2000. Yep, 2000. No. Okay. No, I, I know now to call meta magic instead of so. <laughs> meta magic. Yeah. I've seen some sorcerers use their thing. They're like, all right, I'm going to use a sorcery point, double the distance. I know what that, I'm starting to figure that out. Uh, and here we are. So you guys are uh, going to... Oh, I, yeah, I was going to say, uh, so I have a spell that I... Ha it's a newish spell that I haven't used yet, and I don't know if it'll ever come into play down here, but I want everyone to know that I have it. I have a fog cloud spell in case we want to be really, really stealthy. In a foggy area. Yeah. End of story. Uh, <laughs> now, where, where is the source of this cloud from is what I want to know. I just I just create a, a fog cloud from a point in space, and it it like can fill like if we're down here, I could fill up a room with fog, and we could really sneak around if we roll well. Hey guys, it's something that just got really foggy. Well, I just it, guys. A smoke bomb yeah. or something. Well, like a I mean, ninja? If it's kind of like the um, gargoyles. Then that's kind of a reasonable thing if we can sneak past them without them knowing. For sure, I agree. Sounds wit, Larry. Just. Just putting that out there. Yeah. Just, you know, just because I, I don't have much. <laughs> is it is it misty? Maybe we could moisten up the rocks and kill them faster. Ooh. <laughs> right. Moist. That's a stretch. Put the fog in, we'll wait a week. Yeah. And we'll come attack. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the time to strategize. So uh, explaining new spells like that while you're doing a long rest. Look, Troy gets the cats this week to annoy him. Yep, I got all the pussy over here. 
Wow. Uh, well, that's true. <laughs> lucky. Lucky. I've got, I've got a cat sleeping behind me. He might pop up on my shoulder. Or something. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, let's say how goofy we can get this Groundhog Day. Um, Do we just repeat everything we just did? <laughs> You guys are in this room with a vampire. And all the all the lace chips. <laughs> all the lace chips. And there's a might. I have an idea for a twist, and I'm only like it's just an idea, but I might trap throw it in. Root. Um. So you guys are resting. Where did you back up? You. Uh, boy, that's a good question. Uh, we could have back to the. I mean, we could have gone back to the blood pools, but we kind of cleared this room, didn't we? And we could have could have just well, kind of hunkered down, right? I think we were saying we'd go back to the blood pools to take a long rest because we cleared the oh, area yeah. and the hag was yeah. on our... It'd be nice if we had some sort of grove or something we could uh, move to that would be secluded. <laughs> well, yeah, we did that too. <laughs> we could right. just put the grove yes. down. Okay. So for time ex expediency, we'll, yeah. we'll say... I'm going to say one, you you disrupted this black gate in the yep. stone uh, golem area, uh, the gargoyle room. And uh, two, you have taken your long rest and now gone back to this room and down those stairs. And you're coming to a hallway. It is a T in the T, you know, you've, you've, as a group looking at your map, you've decided to go right. There's a white gate to the north and more of a hallway to the south where you see um, white stones that are framing four open archways that uh, lead to this chamber. The four stones at the corners of each arch pulse with white light. And the walls in this vast space are a set with panels of copper that reflect the lights and revealing these piles, these piles of stone blocks on the floor, blocks of white rock. And uh, there's a contact stone in the east corner of the room, but mostly you guys have decided to go through this room and probably to the north. I have a question for you. Yeah. Are the archways glowing green? They're, it's more white and copper. Because I just remember you talking about the Golem Lab, what the, you know, the hint we got from the hag about the glowing archways. Just okay. What, I, what, can you repeat that? Did you write it down? Yeah. No red wizard will enter the glowing green archways in the Golem Laboratory. So. That's so oh this, is a, this is where we can, uh, Hot, or we can hide out if the red wizards come about, but we probably need to clear out whatever's in here then. If this is a glowing green archway. Mm. Wizard green? I missed that part. No, you said white. <laughs> These are glowing, but they are glowing archways, so this okay. is good. So maybe maybe uh, Holy Swiss is colorblind from his great cheese intake. Or maybe I put green and it wasn't supposed to be green, it was just glowing. Uh, anyway. Could be two. <laughs> <laughs> Keep thinking about it. I'm going to get a room. Well, he ready. said the stones themselves were white. So that's what I got. I guess. Yeah. No, but Nikki said maybe she wrote down green when there was no green set. Oh. Yeah. I just know it's a glowing archway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it would make sense if this is a protected area, if there are archways in all four directions. Yep. So now that we know that, we definitely have to clean the, clear this room out. Yeah. Uh, Eric, you got any spells that we can do before we even enter the room? <clears throat> See, I can do a light spell if you need us. Yeah, I could do my ice storm and probably hit most of the room before we even enter it. I mean, if I put something up, it's going to be a concentration, which is going to cause all sorts of like I could do storm sphere, but then you guys aren't going to want to be in it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, is if we can cast stuff inside the room before we ever have to go into it, we might be able to do damage to whatever this is, or if these if these blocks are going to assemble into golems or something similar. 
that we can do damage before they ever assemble themselves. Go on the assemble. Here on the... Let's see here. <laughs> how, how wide is the room, approximately? Oh, but that also might be where something materializes. Like it's Most of the time, yeah. Center one? That should be on the other side. Perfect. How many feet? There we go. That's put, the orange. Please, please put a plate down to connect those. It's driving me crazy that they're really hard. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Uh, All right Jesse, can I do an arcana check to see if I can figure anything about, out about what this might be? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, 26. That's pretty good. I got plus <laughs> 8 and I rolled 18. Nice. So that's affirmative, Zizo. Uh, where are you guys again? Column assembly. Okay, glowing archways. Um, you're not. You're you're definitely sure that these archways are magical. Okay. Uh, from this side of the hallway, you can't quite ascertain the nature of the magic. All right. Oh, a wasted 26. Very well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess they're right here. So right. how wide, how wide we're, is we're actually mean? coming in from the exact opposite side of that. Oh, uh, so the other way around? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. You know, your no spatial awareness is really, I'm really surprised it's not better being an engineer and all. Well, yeah. it might also be reflected. I don't know. It depends on the image. Is that? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've been prepping for it as a DM to like just face north towards me <laughs> instead of up. I don't know. It's weird. But there's also a lot going on when you're DMing where it's a lot of stuff to keep track of. So. Uh, Whatever. This, That's just excuses. Uh, this episode <laughs> of Critical Bricks is sponsored by Bell's Two Hearted. Nice, nice. the Two Hearted IPA. That's a good huh. one. Nice. You should look for that uh, that meat place that Reed had sponsor uh, Friday Night Bricks. <laughs> no, that's okay. You'll probably have to go across the border to uh, Wisconsin to get some of that Zubers, but you know that's you know. Um, oh, you went down the border. <laughs> oh, it's in Wisconsin only, so. So if you guys haven't creeped into the room yet, I will allow some passive perception to see other creatures that might be in this room. Oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at that. I shall do. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, your passive perception is enough for me to fill in some gaps. Yes. There are uh, red wizard and Thayan apprentices who are working on shaping a stone golem. Wow. So uh, let me make a roll because I like to roll dice. And I've got new dice. Who doesn't? <laughs> uh, roll it right on the camera. These very well. That's a three. One, two, three. So oh. they're they're Shit. I'll I'll even put their back to you. Oh, so, oh well, you guys are coming in there that way. <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't turned around yet. Well, so you guys are you you guys are close. They're right here, but they're distracted working on a stone golem right here. And that stone golem is one of these. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. And so you have a red wizard, and you guys have not met the red wizards in uh, this Thayan Doom Vault yet. Nope. <laughs> so let me open a tab. Uh, I described them. I mean, you met the uh, rebel red wizard that invited you guys down here to, to, to clear out this danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, red yeah. wizards are bad, okay? 
Yeah, so they've got a, a bald Red head. Is bad and cool. They've got mm-hmm. tattoos on their uh, head, um, mostly bald. Um, oh. We all saw the movie. Yep. Take that guy's hair off. Okay. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so we have, uh, for the sake of the Legos, uh, so we have, uh, nice. this is from Brickmania. This is the wizard-ish character. Ooh. And then the two apprentices are, uh, I believe, Nexo Knight villains. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Jesse. Um, do I, would I know if they have any kind of resistance or if there's anything that they, um, or kind of or can a check or? I want to say because. Hargaric has been, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Anayan has been through here a little bit also. You two spellcaster, or I don't have uh, the thing pulled up. Um, let me see. You you, you know that the, the wizards are wizards. You know, they're going to throw spells at you. Um, wizards going to say, 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 say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Thay and a present. Let me open another tab. Thay and a present apprentice. Um, <clears throat> I didn't super read this up, so I will be <laughs> struggling through uh, some spell casting against you guys tonight. So let's get into it. Um, and I would know if, if they have a like if they're resistant to fire or anything like that. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So the within the Doom Vault. Um, they have advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Okay. I guess I'm not going to frighten them. Okay. Um, well, I think we should cast some stuff immediately before they notice us. Take our first, <laughs> our, our surprise to attack. So I uh, you know what I'm going to cast. Uh, Eric, do you know what you want to cast? I mean, if they're resistant to charm, I mean, I can try and hold one, but... Do you have any damage spells that hit multiple creatures? Um, I can do burning hands. You happen and, to have, like, a fireball or anything like that? Um, I have... The fire bolt hits one. Magic missile. <laughs> do we want to focus yeah. target on one to take one down first? Well, I can... I can. Ca- I have a couple spells I can cast that hit everything within the area, which is what I'd rather do if we've got four targets in here. If we wouldn't, we want to try and target the main wizard because if the wizard goes down, wouldn't the apprentices be less inclined to keep fighting? I if- don't know that that's going to be the case, but either way, my biggest can- damage are AOEs. So, I mean, a minor concentration for AOE. I mean, I can wall of fire them and like, you know. So I was thinking about that myself. If we did wall of fire around them, so they'd have to go out through it, then the side that's facing them, they would take damage um, yeah. at least once to go through it. Um, yeah. And if they stay so in want, it, they have to take damage. And you want me between them and you two guys, because you guys are the wizards, you need me between them so that... Well, we would cast, and then you would step out in front of us. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want, I want to make sure I'm in between you two, so if they come towards you, they got to come through me first. And does the golem look like it's pretty well completed, Jesse? Um, it would be animated, but maybe a reduced threat. Okay. <laughs> I also have an AOE spell that can uh, hamper their movement. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think that would matter because they're just casting spells, right? Well, but the golem's going to move. Oh, the go- for the golem, yeah. So if you do Wall of Fire and I do my Hailstorm and Larry does his area of effect, then we could hopefully do a decent amount of damage to all four before they get a chance to move. And Fairy fo- Frolic, you know, towards them. Oh, yeah, too. Fairy Frolic would be great, too. Yeah. The only, the only um, ranged attack that I have is Guiding Bolt. Yeah, but uh, you're going to be more of a meat shield anyways. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you and I are you and, and I are attack, and attacking but, the golem, hopefully. But if we're if we're okay, well, I can do guiding bolt then as I my can surprise attack. Oh, good. Okay. 
I'm just, I'm just thinking for a surprise attack before we even enter the room. This is what that I'm makes thinking. sense. Yeah. And then I can go, you know, do melee. And, and Prontero can throw melee. one of his javelins. So I'm hitting the golem then? With guiding uh, I would, I'm, I'm guessing the wizard is we want to take down the fastest. Okay, that's why I'm asking which one yep. we should yep. we focus on then for, for mine. So if you cast at the wizard, but then take if you face the golem, so if Prontero is going against the wizards and um, you're going against the golem, then hopefully you can keep them from attacking us. I could do that. I could, oh, and then I could change to, um, what is it? Uh, what's it called? Compelled, compelled duel. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to work on a construct. I mean, just as a creature. Oh, okay. Or I can just command them to it. Well, to it, I don't know that a creature counts as a construct. This isn't a living thing, so it might fall into a different category. It doesn't have feelings? No, it does not. No, oh, it doesn't. Probably not. It would be a conjuration, like, you know. I don't even know. Okay. So I can either use Fairy Frolic or Cone of Cold. I'm guessing the psychic's going to do more against the wizards. Kind of my thought, too. So we hit him with cold, fire, psychic, and is that radiant damage with your bolt? Uh, yes. Okay. So, does that sound good for a surprise round, Jesse? I'm trying not to pay too much attention to your... Okay. Like... <laughs> strategizing yeah. so now that you have an idea start over because no. <laughs> so okay now let me yeah. let me just get my monster stats ready real sure. quick and uh i was just i was just getting ready really i, was, I mean no, uh, all of that area effect stuff i just blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> yeah sounds okay um so tell now tell me what you really want to do in order before we roll initiative Tell me what you want. What you really so, want. Eric, uh, Nikki, Troy, and I are going to cast spells, uh, three of which are area effect. Don't forget me. And, uh, sorry, and, uh, and Mary as well. Sorry, too many people to think through. Um, and then uh, Troy and Reed are going to step into the room. And advance towards the golem for Troy and the mages for Reed. Meet so you. One, so one at a time. <laughs> Tell so me what you're really gonna do? Eric's gonna cast wall so of fire. fire. Let 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 Ricklock do it then. Sounds good. All right. All right. So I'm gonna cast wall of fire in a circle around everything there. How, well, you how big of a radius is it? It's, uh, it's a wall. No, I can I can make it a wall or a ring. So, and it goes. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Where is it? Sixty feet long. Um, let's see. Or um, let's see. Where is it? So where so there's a ring up to twenty feet in diameter. Yeah. So where do you want it? Um, if I can center it around. The golem and the the wizards. Twenty feet diameter around now. Like, like where wherever like. Maybe it'll catch the golem. Maybe? Yeah, catch the golem. if you put it right between the golem and the wizards, the, hopefully the radius is enough to. Yeah. Catch him a little bit. Does this sound good? Like to behind their back, and then it will catch the golem. Yeah. If that's twenty feet, yeah, that looks probably right about right. Brilliant. And I, can, and I can make it as high as the golem is. So. Well, you can do sixty feet long, right, Eric? No, I, I, I can, well, I mean, that's I can do a wall sixty feet long, twenty feet high, and then if I but if I do a ring, I can do a twenty foot diameter. Okay, so, so if you did, if you how did high do feet, you make like a box or a hit three sides? I can divide. I can divide the room. I mean, well, I can divide, if you keep them from getting out, so they force them to have to go through it to get out. So if you make like a, a U that's 20 by 20 by 20 or 15 by by 
30 by 15 or something like that. You I don't, I don't, make. I don't think I can do like a partial, like it, a wall would be a wall. I'm like, from corner, like a, like a linear, linear wall or I don't or think it has to be linear, but yeah. I could be wrong. I don't know. I did. I mean, it doesn't specify. Yeah. It just, I, says, I, it just says a wall, a wall up to 60 feet long. So like yeah. one wall, one wall of fire. So you could do it from the corner to the like the edge of that other door. Oh, that might that's be sixty. A stupid spell. Why did I take that? Then? Well, the ring is twenty feet high. Yeah. Yeah, and I can go up to thick. twenty feet high. Yeah. yeah. One foot thick. So the ring. They have to make a. They have to make a, <laughs> a deck save of fifteen. If okay. They, if they miss, then they take five dice six. If they pass it, they take half of the damage. Oh man, new dice coming out, and they're all different colors for four different creatures, four different new brand new brand new D twenty. Sweet, I hope they all suck. What's the DC? They have to Dex is fifteen. Dex fifteen. I got a nineteen and a thirteen. So two, uh, the. Uh, the wizard and uh, an apprentice are going to make their save. Okay. All right. So let's see. And the other two fail. Damage is. So the two that miss will take 28 damage, and the two nice. that save will take 14. Damage. And they're inside the wall, so they take damage because they're within 10 feet, right? Yeah. And yeah. they have to make they have to move through the wall to get out of it. Yes. So as long as as long as they're on the inside of the wall, they have to take a saving roll. Is that every turn? Every every turn. Yeah. Yep. Within ten feet. Until that. they get out of it. So if they until get they through get it, out of they the, don't take they damage. Get out of the room. Sure. And this is up by concentration. Okay, so I forgot to juice these guys a little more. <laughs> uh, We're going to wipe them out before we roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a um, ice storm in the same areas that wall inside the wall of fire. Real quick, is there a door in these archways we have to open? Uh, so... They, they are pulsing that. with red. They're they're not. A, it's not a door, but it is magically inhued with something that is uh, a, a pulsing kind of white light and copper mm. copper trim around this archway. White stone, pulsing white light and copper tubing trimming. I open the door anyway. I'm gonna stay in the archway. Yep. Isn't Prontero going to go through there? Um, uh, how, uh, how how tall are the yeah. archways, real quick? As we um, go in. They're 20 feet. Okay. 15, Shall I levitate feet? now or shall I levitate later? I don't like, know you're going to ask that. <laughs> okay. So who is going next? And then I'm doing a cone of, or a ice storm within that same area that uh, a name yep just did the okay. qualifier and okay so that's a deck 16 save uh okay Uh, fail, 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 fail. Nice. Okay, so 12 points of bludgeoning damage. And 13 points of cold damage. Times four, correct, Kevin? Correct, Reed. <laughs> Just losing out of your damage. 
I, I just want your totals to be accurate. That's all. Yeah, but that ruins all the fun. <clears throat> Good question, Zizu. All right. Yeah, very good uh, one of the apprentices goes down. Nice. The ice storm. What is it again? Is it a ice storm? Yep. So it's hail and it's uh, like a, a a diameter though, or it's the same diameter as the wall of fire. Okay. Um, and it's a uh, hail of rock hard ice mm -hmm. and it makes the um, terrain difficult until the end of my next turn. Okay. And that's what I'm doing. Cool. Uh, am I next? You're doing difficult terrain, yes? Why don't we have Nikki go yes. first because you're going to enter the room just in case you trigger something. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Fairies come out of a portal and attack. Okay. Charisma, 17 DC. What was the number? 17. Mm. Yeah. Fail, 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 fail. I got a 11, 5... <laughs> Five and two. I like these new dice, Jesse. Yeah, these dice are great. great dice. You should use them all the time, all the time. Great. Agreed. All right. So this is going to be 4D12. Psychic damage. I'm sure they're not made of like petrified wood and then carved into. And six, eight, 18, 18, and seven, 25, 30 psychic damage. 30 psychic damage. Dang. Whoa. You go, girl. Good. Kill things. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Reed, what are what are you what are you and I gonna do? We're gonna do crap. Uh, uh, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't worry. I'm pretty yeah. sure we'll have plenty of golem to fight. I'll yeah, have a wizard. I'll have a wizard. Yeah. I'll swing, swing out through the fire. I have a uh, the other, uh, the female apprentice, ah, racks her brain and and collapses to the floor. Half you all see, you all see scanners? Half, half <laughs> ice. Uh, She's unhinged. <laughs> Unsinged, you mean? All right, so that's a lot for surprise attack. Um, I and I know, yet. Larry, you want to do something. <laughs> so, but you're entering the room, right? Or what? No, no, yeah. no. I was just asking about if I, I'm not, I'm not going to levitate now. I'm not entering anything. I have okay. a concentration spell I can use. Okay. So at this point, can we roll initiative? Sure. Or did you guys? Uh, that was a good. lot. I don't know. Because I didn't listen to the whole plan, but that was yep. like, no, boom, that boom, was boom, boom. Three area effects. They're definitely aware of your presence. You killed <laughs> two <laughs> apprentices. Um, Cover blown. I think uh, yeah. Reed and, and Troy were going to enter the room. That was what their move was. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to with a spell, but yeah, we can just do initiative. You can. Uh, let's roll. Yes, just so we can uh, proceed in an organized fashion uh, and give these guys. We're the chaos crew. There's no organization. Give them a chance. What? <laughs> I rolled. Oh, baby, look at that. Troy, you're killing me. Oh, and currently, wow. currently, this session is brought to you by the city. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, you know what? That looks pretty, pretty decent set. I thought. I just built the car. Actually, I love, I love that they did it with the, the back end here with those. Isn't uh, that so cool? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Which yeah. car? Is like a fastback? Oh yeah. It's the. Uh, it's a fast. It's like fastback louvers. Yep, exactly. But it, isn't it a six stud wide car? Yeah, six stud. It's called race car and car carrier. Yeah, I like the the new speed champion size is set. Sorry, yeah, but I mean for it's so cool. This break in the action brought to you by Lego. <laughs> Lego, Lego City. <laughs> Race car and car carrier. 
Who's got a high roll? 20 plus? I do. I have 19. Uh, so 19. 22. So Larry's first. That's fitting. Larry didn't get a chance to go. Uh, we have matching 19s. That's who's higher decks? Probably, I don't know. I got, um, I got, uh, my decks is 18. 14. Frontero, of course. Then Anayan. And then. I have 18. And we got an 18 in there? Yep. Thank you. Um, and Kevin, what's yours? Looking at a five. Detroit? Uh, uh, 10. Holy Swiss, then Car Greg. Last week, about, was and stolen. what about our uh, our other elf? Oh, oh, Shalindra. Shalindra. <laughs> Shalindra. Oh, right. Shalindra. We didn't kill her. Sorry. A little different dice. She got a fourteen, uh, so she's gonna go right in here before Holy Swiss. Look at that hat on this guy. Oh, cool. Ooh, it's it's like a what they like call a, pa those? a paper boy hat. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Okay, there's a word for that. I don't know what it is. Hey, I, know. Know. I just remember paper boys. Yeah, I don't remember the name. <laughs> Round <laughs> one. The kind of that where they right. bend in half and then slap it on. Go. Larry. All right. Finish? Well, uh, since we're into it, I'm gonna go ahead and. I'll come through the doorway. I'm going to go to my right, which is down screen. Uh, as as you enter the as you enter the archway, you are hurled th ten feet into the room. Son Ooh. of a bitch! You should have levitated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a Constitution saving throw. Fourteen. That is a miss. You take five points of force damage and fall prone on the floor. Oh, jeez. Well, that ruins my whole plan. <laughs> that was prone to happen. Uh, <laughs> look what happened to me, everyone. Yeah. Don't wow. follow Larry's example. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it's their turn. I got a 19. Oh, wow. <laughs> and wow. Larry, you're. I am. The golem is got, like, he's pissed. <laughs> and it needs to leave the ring of fire, so it has to go through the ring of fire or the wall of fire yeah. to get out. It'll, of it. Yeah, it'll take another five to eight. Ring of fire. Hoo ha ha. Okay. <laughs> As it so yeah. go ahead and roll damage. He also, I mean, he can save you. Yeah, he gets a deck save. He could stay. Well, he he wants to leave the ring of fire. Yeah, because sure. he'll keep taking damage if he stays in there. When you go through it, you take damage. So it'd be fifteen if he whatever if he if he uh, takes full damage. Got of all the knights to roll big on initiative. Son of a bitch! All right, it 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 uh, takes fifteen damage. Yeah. Okay, so it's like this stone half mutated because it's not finished like completely stone giant of a of a golem. Uh half on fire now. Uh, comes at Larry with advantage because you're prone on the ground. Um it's gonna slam Slam its big maws at you. Uh, Hulk smash. Uh, I've got a 23 and a 22 to hit. I think I think that'll hit. <laughs> oh, actually, that was the first roll, so with advantage. Both. Yeah, 23. So I'll re-roll just so it's... All right. Because I might get low. There's a 9 and... 17 yes yeah, so you're gonna 25 so you get hit with bludgeoning damage and i got all these fancy new one uh, d 
three D eight. Damn. Six. Uh, that's seventeen points of bludgeoning damage from the first. Oh my spleen! Ouch! I love her. I love her. And twelve points. Oh, eighteen <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage from the second. Boom! Boom! Oh. In your face. That was half. 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 The wizard is going to. Let's see what it can do to get out of this. My, uh, it can. Uh, it's going to cast. I think it's going to cast Stone Skin on itself and give itself some protection. That'll be its action. What else can this guy do? do, do, do. It's got 30 feet of speed, plus 10 if he's unencumbered. And you'll have to make a deck save going through the wall of fire, theoretically. He's uh, He is resistant to some of those effects. Okay, so it'll take one uh, But I just read it. Sure. <laughs> so I'm going to juice him a little. And... <laughs> uh, So, what, uh, this, and how do you guys, I, I wanna, I did, I didn't, the golem went through, he took the fire damage. Did you tell me cold damage before also, or? He already took that, he doesn't take it again. Only oh, one. he doesn't take it again, okay. Nope, Um. So it was just difficult terrain. I want to say these are offsetting fire and ice. Well, he's been hit. He's being hit with hailstones and then walking through a fire. Well, I want to say maybe the fire is going out because of the hailstorm. <laughs> mm. um, I wasn't going to say anything. It's but... a concentration I spell. I was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you Jesse. the. I'm going to give you the first. I'm not going to retcon, but, yeah, but the wizard is not taking any damage. Okay. And cast pa uh, stone skin as his action and probably backs up. He's like, get me out of here. <laughs> okay. All right. That's what we're doing. Um, now we can go to Prontero. Uh, well, I might as well rage. And then... Super califragilistic expiologosis. Light that sword up. <laughs> Um, and then I guess at this point, um, I'm hoping I'm a little bit stronger. I might as well, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I can't do any damage outside the room. So I'm going to have to enter the room, head towards the, the golem. Cause the wizard is backed away from combat. So I'm going to, you know, that's what a barbarian would do. Yep. You are thrown 10 feet into the room as you step through the archway okay. and give me a constitution saving throw. It was just the boost you needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. That is going to be a 19. That's a save. Good Sweet. job, Frontero. You betcha. Woo. 
good shot, Jensen. You betcha. I made it, guys. Good job. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm Since gonna, I got, I'm gonna give you your action still. Um, okay. So that was movement and a save throw. Okay. So I can swing the flaming sword. Is your saying? That is one possible action. I will swing my flaming broadsword. At Larry, of course. No, of at course. the <laughs> no at the, at the golem, and that is going to be a nineteen to hit. Do you want to flat on my back? Everything's going over my head. <laughs> do you want to go towards the fire and ice storm or away from it? Uh, away from it, so I'm, you know, so I'm hitting them at, yeah, at the edge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, the ice storm is no longer raging; it's just, uh, yeah, it's calming down. Yep. Uh, it's not much to, do, yeah. Uh, pardon me. What was the hit? The hit was uh, 19 to hit on a golem. That is a hit. Ooh. Hey. It's gonna be. Fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen slashing damage with my magical sword. Okay. Five fire damage. Five fire damage. Okay, so twenty-three total. Yeah. Do I get a second swing like I normally do? I want to say no. Okay, because I was still you're okay. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, yep. Fine with me. Say, yeah, yeah, your your double action attack um, is halved by. Was halved because I was thrust into the room and thrust into out. the room. Unless you, yeah, yeah. Yes. I was just gonna see anything else. I think that's about all you can do. Yeah, I was just going to see if there was any. Uh... Yeah, no, I think I, I just have athletic. I just have a proficiency in athletics. I was just seeing if there was something where I would actually counter that, but I do not see anything. So. Okay. Yeah, let's just go with that. Okay. Uh, who's next? We have uh, Anan. Be... Anan. All right. I'm going, since they've left the wall of fire, I'm going to break the, my concentration on that and okay. uh, throw a uh, fire bolt at the golem from the door. <laughs> okay. So you're going to stay outside the door yeah, and I throw a fire bolt? Yet. I really don't want to get thrust up into this guy. Yeah. Let's see, he had a uh, 19 to hit. Uh, 19 to hit who? The golem? The golem, sorry. Yep. That's a hit. And he'll take 10 damage. Okay. And that's it. <clears throat> okay. Um, All right. Go. Where are we at? Nan's gone. That's it. Your turn next. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the word you at Larry for my bonus action. First level, uh, one death. Uh, five. Take seven hit points, Larry. Seven. Yep. And then for my action itself, we haven't done this in a while. I'm going to conjure woodland bean. And I okay. have eight link goats, please. Oh, goats. 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 oh boy. 
You got enough goats, Jesse? I don't think so. You will when the new CMFs come out, right? Actually, <laughs> have stuff though. I have stuff. Maybe huskies. Whatever. They'll all work. Did you ever do? You didn't know do heard of blink goats before, did you? <laughs> I forgot how powerful you guys are. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We're noobs. We're so noobs? we're noobs. What? Well, we're on our three hundredth episode, right? Nice. Built up over oh, he's getting, oh, he's oh, getting no. blink lamps. <laughs> now, but Not go bad. to mix. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, furry goats. <laughs> the wizard will be so taken. Where do you want them? I guess, or can you place um, them? Or yeah, I can place them wherever they're going to go in my initiative then. I think they have their own, but that's just way too complicated. Um, let's see. I want one near the apprentice. They're down. Okay. They're going to feed on the apprentices. They're going to eat them, yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Um, 16 feet range. Can we place them all feet. first? Yeah, no, I know. I was just saying 40 foot speed, so I'm trying to figure out how far I can go. Oh. Um, attacking the golem would be good. Okay. <laughs> so all. Because the wizard's uh, probably farther than 40 feet, right? Uh, two in front, two on the side, two in behind. That's okay. fine by me. Yep. Not on his and back. Not far away. They're not mountain goats, Troy. I wish they were. <laughs> I wish. Do you know you can put the new sheepskin on the goats and they look like mountain goats? Yes. Really? Yes. What? The wizard is too far away, yes. Um, for what? 40. Yeah, 40 I want to say yes. Okay, at least for now because I can blink to them next time, but yeah. True. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? What are we doing? We are doing damage now. They're going to charge. Okay. So I'm going to roll a die. This is yep, like there, the... Uh, there you go. Oh, nice. It's yeah. like the mid-mobile commercial where you have the angry goat. <laughs> right. <Lots of> angry <laughs> goat. <laughs> There's a little gap, though. The sheep still looks better. Yeah, I don't even think it's a real connection, is it? It is. It's got it is? Cut on the back. Oh, wow. Okay, That's I got cool. a 21. To hit? Yeah. That'll hit. Okay, so now it's going oh, to... Oh, but yeah. Be... Kind of wobbles back. Oh, uh, well. No, not much. Interesting. It's going to be one, three, that's four, and that's three, and seven. Plus an extra two D four. It's an extra. No, okay, seven is that twelve. Twelve damage. Okay. And then the target must succeed on a DC thirteen strength saving throw. Uh, 21. Yeah. Barely made it. <laughs> All as well. I figured that much, but yeah. Plus, it's like a large construct, so I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't say. It just says yeah. that they have to do a saving throw. Yeah. And they were from. So, yeah. okay. So, 12 times 8. I want to say, oh, okay. can we do a combined combo? Like, on the next roll, it's all five goats hitting at once. Or missing at once. Okay, that's what I was kind of doing with this one. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to roll for each individual one for you. Oh, okay. At it least that we're attacking the golem. The one that's attacking the other one. No, but yeah. Does so, that make out of all the goats, that was twelve damage. Twelve times eight. Oh, that's the part I didn't catch. <laughs> <laughs> twelve times eight. Holy crap! There's eight goats. I thought there were six. There's eight. 
I didn't get enough goats out. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's spell that's 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 man. But she she did only roll the one hit die. She rolled the twenty one to hit, so she only rolled one die for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to do that. Yeah, um, that's, and that's what she did. Otherwise, we're gonna be here friend. all night rolling goat. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, gonna <laughs> kind of all over mm -hmm. again. The multiple Never. dice was her damage roll. She was doing, and that's then we'll have to name each one of them. And yeah. Know. Right on. <laughs> this one's kicky. This one's bucky. Blinky, blinky, and blocky, and platy, and, and stud. <laughs> all right, Chad, name the goats. Whiny, yes. be name all eight goats for me. These two are still here. Jeff, go. <laughs> I would roll a handful of dice equal to the number of attacking goats. But I did 96 damage. Is that all? That's so much. 96. Dude. If there's 12, like 12 goats. Now we're getting big time, people. This is well, she, ridiculous. No, no, that's still not the highest so far, but of this of this thing, but it's close. Only missed by four. The crazy Carter it did a hundred. One attack. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, usually, usually anesthesia, she's our healer, so she's not doing a lot of damage. So when she does it. You guys can't hear me? I can't hear anybody. I can hear you. Oh, well, we, we can hear, hear you, but your, uh, your, your map, map went, away. went away. So maybe it's related. Hello? Yeah. Hello? 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 Yes. We can see you. And hear you. We can see you and hear you. The map back. cam went out. Cool, let's talk about Jesse while I can't hear us. <laughs> but he can still see the chat, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. I thought that was you, Larry. <laughs> In the private chat. Oh, and I can't spell. That's great. <laughs> hello. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, yep. what are you trying to say? Hello. To you? Oh, that's yeah, crazy. hello. We can, can hear you. Hear you? Uh, you lost your map cam. Yeah, we may be able to hear you the whole time, but your map cam suddenly went out. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, I was, I'm not the only one experiencing technical difficulties tonight. I, I feel a little bit better. Except mine were a little bit more severe. So. Is that a cool process? It must be that Friday night, Friday night funk. I can't hear you guys. Oh, uh, we can hear you. <laughs> we can hear you. We can hear you. Must be you. speaker. Oh, Check, uh, Settings. Talk louder, Reed. Hi. There we go. Hey, Reed. If you put Linux on that machine, you don't have to uninstall Windows, but you can run Linux on it, and it'll like actually probably run well. Huh? You guys can hear me now? Yeah, yep. we can hear yep. We've been able to. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yep. Yep. My whole... Uh, I got a glitchy wire or something in it. Oh, did Reed build that system for you? A dock system. <laughs> wow. wow. Everything's <laughs> plugged into like a dock. Sorry, it was a dock, easy. Like, uh, right. Oh no, he, no, Jesse has Apple. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, this is okay. the only Apple device I own right here. This that's one. the. This is the non-Apple product that. Oh. Okay. Is my dock system that I'm. Mm. Um. I don't, I don't build docks. Now I got to get that again. <laughs> Docks, if you build them wrong, you can drown when you fall into the water. So. Uh, he meant like Google Docs, Reed. Oh, I do those. I make those. It's kind of hard to get hurt doing those. Dock of the bay. Try Doc yeah, Shell. Digital paper cuts are a bitch. They can be. Dock of the, the bay. regular ones with cardboard? Yeah, that guy actually. All right. Blink Goat Peace. Massacre. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they only charged. Right? Oh, wow. They rammed and charged, yes. Yeah. Poor Gollum. <laughs> Poor Gollum? Who said are you on, Reed? But he looks uh, so horrible. Could you imagine if they could actually think for themselves? 
right? So are you are you gonna damage. start pushing for Gollum's rights, Troy? <laughs> no, I was talking about the, goat, <laughs> the goats. The goats. Oh yeah. Did you maybe consider that the Gollum got too close to uh, Prontero, and maybe that was the problem? Oh, you mean he had actual feelings for Prontero? Maybe. Oh. I am a bear. I must destroy myself so I don't hurt him. I'm, I'm a pretty handsome devil. Yeah, I was going to say, I look at that burly, semi-naked man. Huh? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> We're doing some role playing. I wasn't. Frontero. <laughs> I, I was just saying what I thought. Frontero had taken back by Gollum. So, oh, there's that thing. Okay. Still moving down our initiative line. Uh, yes, thanks. Shalindra. Are you done, Ames? Yep, that was my action and my bonus action. I'm Um. Mine. Yeah, Shalindra is perplexed. <laughs> Be perplexed by my coach. She doesn't She's want like... to. Even with the golem down, she knows it's dangerous to go through this uh, archway. So she's going to hold her action. Until somebody figures it out. Smart. Say the magic words. Boogity boogity. Chim Chimaru. <laughs> Holy Swiss, you're up. So we just got the wizard up now? Or the the golem's down? Yeah. Is that what you said? Golem is down. All right. Let's... The flames are down, the golem's down, and the goats just killed everything. So nobody's up then. The slot wizard. Just, you know, wizard. There the wizard. is a wizard. Okay, let's let's cast uh let's do our original plan. Cast wizard. cast uh the the guiding bolt towards him. So I don't know that you can see him from your. Can position. I? Okay, let me move into the doorway, but not complete, not in the doorway, but <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, behind the doorway. Um, of, he's taking sight. cover. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's he's. Oh, like you really here. want me to go through and get knocked down? <laughs> <don't you? laughs> We're you know, like, out. All right, I get the. I mean, I got, I got the hint. You want to do a ranged? It'll probably bounce off the golems. Let's so right. Okay, let's roll in. Let's go it should the be doorway. okay. There's no water in the room. <laughs> yeah, right. right. So you're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> let's go through. Okay, so walking through the dark archway that is still glowing is a constitution saving throw all right that's a 21. That nice save nice. So superhero you, landing you may proceed cool. high five holy swiss high five. would you like to move to yeah. a point where you can see the wizard uh yes Do you want to stay back? Do you want to oh, forward? We'll, we'll, we'll stay back and do our guiding bolt. You say you have to get yeah. around to there. To he's, got the goats to, he's got the goats to protect him. And guiding bolt? Okay. Sure. I never get to use it. Do That's you attack? Uh, nice. Yeah, it's a 15 to hit. A 15 to hit the wizard. Mm. So that is it very well, Troy. That, that hits. Cool. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. That's uh, nine points of radiant damage, and uh, everybody that makes rolls attack rolls against him have advantage. Yes. Until, the ne until his next turn. No, the the next attack. Not everybody. <clears throat> the next re attack roll made against this target before the end of your next turn has advantage. Yes. My my turn. I mean, one attack, not okay. several. 
I'm going to throw rock at him so right. I can use that advantage. <laughs> Better not. Just to clarify. <laughs> Just to clarify. Okay. Uh, was there damage? Did I, did I do that already? I yeah, it's, it was only okay. nine radiant damage. I just didn't do the math yet. Okay, radiant. Oh, I was just looking to see if that mattered to this wizard. He doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, He's I mean, these guys are more evil, so. He didn't put his sunscreen on this morning. An evil wizard. <sighs> <laughs> Such an evil petting zoo. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, and yeah, I'm going to uh, concentrate my spirit shroud Ooh. to flit around me. Okay. Just because I can. <laughs> okay. Shoot. Um, can you, though? Is that what is it's that? A bo- it's a bonus action. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. All right. We'll Looks you... like they're getting better with their uh, four by four uh, tiles and then gloss on them. Got oh, really? Yeah. Spirit yeah. shroud. That lot of good that does the whole drawer full of the black ones I have that hey, are not I'm not so here much. to judge. Great. Oh, I, I'm here to judge. Oh, we're here to judge. This is <laughs> this is judgmental hour. Judge, 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 judge. A glowing red light streaks out from my fingertips and erupts into a fireball right above the wizard. So he you gets. You don't have a, to. You don't. You don't have to see him. Nope. I just need to know where I want to center my twenty foot radius. Nice. So the Forty feet that I'm aiming at, he's hit. Okay. Big boomer. Uh, and he makes a deck 16 save against damage. Deck 16. Oh, that's a mess. <laughs> He's the name the goat. 12 <laughs> plus 18, so 30 points of damage. Dang. Fire damage. How big a radius is that or whatever? A uh, 20 foot radius, so it'll be 40 feet wide. So a couple of these goats are down. Uh, that could be, yes. Because you can't really see. Yeah. Who was that? Was that Duju, Johnny G, Scruffs, Bootsy, Percy, Trudeau, Beth, Rudy, <laughs> or R. <R-R-A-D>? Ray? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you killing me? <laughs> oh, those are the nice. goat names. Kevin, it's Kevin's funny. not you know afraid of collateral damage. I know it's okay. Zizu, oh, you get a point of inspiration for naming all the goats, uh, and we'll give it to Nikki just because. Thank you. <laughs> um, where are we that's at? That's my action. There you go. Top of the Top order. Of the order. Round two. Larry. Sweet. All right. All right so yeah, I've. I'm... I'm assuming I can't see the wizard from where I am, right? Uh, you had your turn. I think we're at Larry. Oh, yep. Larry. Oh, yeah, Larry. Yep. yep. So I've been able to. I mean, I've been able to kind of collect myself. Oh, I forgot to throw my rock at him. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, <laughs> and I will um, go ahead and shoot up in the air. At least twenty feet. I don't know how high the ceiling is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, whoa. I think you're still prone. You gotta, you gotta get up. Yeah. So uh, you're yeah. prone. What do you want to do? I'm gonna levitate. Like do a leap I think you have to stand up first. Yeah. You have to yeah. Stand up. So Otherwise, if just you face first along the floor. It takes half your movement to stand up. Okay. So if am, am I getting another half movement? I could, I could do ten feet up in the air. Okay. Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying, yeah, the first thing you need to do is stand up. Mm-hmm. There are like 37 people in this room. I've had plenty of time to stand up. <laughs> well, the prone half elf ranger, please stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I should be above <laughs> the mound of the golem. I could now see the wizard. You can. Target. 
cool. And you not only see that wizard. Oh, God, somebody's out to get me tonight. <laughs> 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 but you see two more, player killer. two more characters and dun, dun, dun. another oh, god. Uh, I love that one. I have that. <laughs> That's so, those guys are so badass. I love those golems. Being worked on on this side of the room. Luckily, they haven't noticed anything yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we've only had one round of action. This is round two. Seriously. One, one baddie at a time. All right. So as I rise up after being pounded for the first time in 20 episodes, I'm pissed. <laughs> I hate getting hit and hurt. So uh, we're going to we're going to cast lightning arrow. And as I draw back my bow, my arrow turns into a bolt of lightning. The bowstring electrifies lightning. and sparks are flying out of my eyes like the god of thunder. Because <laughs> I'm mad. And I target yeah. the wizard up in front there. Okay. I don't I don't know why I've got like data in my head from Goonies when I say like, I'm really pissed off right now. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we shoot, we score. That is a 28 to hit. That'll do. And it will take 4d8 lightning damage. That's 7, 9, 17, 18 lightning damage. That's perfect, Jeff. That's just the way we want it. <laughs> yes. Well, luckily, Larry casts his fog spell, so they can't tell anything's going on. No spells were cast. Wait, what? Where was I? He's making shit up. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, and so if I can get another, if I, I so I've got another uh, ranged weapon attack. Sure. I will go ahead and pull out a, a fire arrow. And shoot again. Okay. What is he shooting at? A 17 to hit. I got nothing. Kind of low for me. (laughs) Jesse, did that hit? I didn't hear you. Yes, it hits. Okay. Uh, 13 piercing. Six fire. For total of 19. He's looking pretty rough. He's shaking off that lightning a bit, but the fire definitely did some damage. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, they get to go. And guess who else is pissed? <laughs> and since y'all are doing fire, this thing transmuter red wizard. Speaks the dark magic words and a bright streak of fire flashes from its pointing finger and a lower roar of explosion and flame in a 20 foot radius sphere. Fireball. Did that just hit Lari? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much this whole corner, other corner of the room. <laughs> you just say it's like only I didn't do that. <laughs> That's messed up. Where did that come from? Deck saves for Larry, Holy Swiss, and Prontero, and two goats. Mm-hmm. Two goats. goats, goats. You're just trying to get your goats, Amethystia. Wow, I couldn't have asked for a better one. Well, one it's more okay. better, but my goats don't love. It's okay. We got a nineteen. Oh God, no. 
Holy Swiss got a 19. Uh, okay. He uh, he put up his shield and deflected that flame like a hot frying pan, I guess. I don't know. That, that, will, that will save for half damage. Okay. Uh, Larry, Brown Tarot. Larry's on you. 11. I'm, I'm sorry. I was speaking. Uh, 11's on a, not a 20, save. 25 to save. Okay. So let me roll damage. Um, it's a third level spell. So it's only 1d6? No. It's, it's 8d6, right? 8d6. Oh, it's 1d6 for anything above third level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 1d6. That's all Fireball does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's get out the pretty dice. Because <laughs> I got lots of these dice. Mm. I don't like the fact that he's mm. got to pull out a bulk quantity of d6s. <laughs> All right. And get he's ready, happy about it, too. You get ready to match. He is happy. He's way too yeah. happy about this. There's oh, like, man. You guys have been blowing over my, my creatures so for so long. <laughs> he's like, yeah, hey. And while, you're on the verge of disrupting a fifth black gate. That's yes. a lot of dice. Mm -hmm. Um... You got a, you got Yahtzee and ones. <laughs> hey, Yahtzees and ones would be twos for me. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. I can't I Pretty can't roll a one in fire damage. Uh, That's right. Twenty eight to uh, read and half that for the rest of you guys. Actually, I did read something. I wanted to just check. I'm raging. I gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Not attack. Okay. That means I get to roll again, right? So roll, roll again, and take the higher I roll. roll. I roll the twenty-two with my. 19. So you all take fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. Fourteen fire. Ouch! Can you take the fire out of them. Hot, 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 hot. What? For everyone, including the goats. And the goats. Well, the, did the goats make their save? They got an eight. So no, they did no. not. So they take twenty-eight points of damage. They died. Well, Bye, goats. Raging too, right? <laughs> Huh? Yeah, the goats raging too. The goats are blinking. Of the goats are raging. <laughs> blink, blinking the heck out of there. And actually, Reed, you would have gotten an, another extra two because you're probably within ten feet of me, correct? Yeah. That. I got aura protection plus two to all saving throws. Well, That's if you could spell, just so you guys know, within ten feet of you. If you're within, if you're within ten feet, you get that. Okay. All right, that'd have been okay. Just, just in time. Troy, for next time. Yeah, for adding. next time. As long as next we time. No, no, on. I'm good this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. haven't moved on quite yet, so that, that would have been in time. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, where are we at? That's uh, that's Fireball, and I've got some other monsters on the field now. So this golem here mm -hmm. can't, quite, can't quite get up to you, but... We'll pick up some of these rocks, probably. Mm. No, bad golem. That's true, bad golem. Hey, Sean Kelly's here. Hi, Sean. Oh, hey, What's Sean. up, Sean? Is this uh, live? Is this live? Hello, <laughs> Sean. We're playing D and D live. It is correct. It does say That's live perfect. in the upper left-hand corner, so I'm guessing it's live. <laughs> Um, you're always nice to our spectators, Reed. I know. <laughs> this golem here. Eric, you met you met Sean when you were out here. Mm -hmm. I He's did, gonna cast. I did. It's a, he doesn't he doesn't have a slow feature, but he has a slow feature. What did I say? He doesn't have a what? throw like a, feature, but he oh. has a slow feature. So he's going to target Larry up in the air. And That's like a very white feature. I rolled for it. Damn right. uh, I got it. Well, let's see. Wait. You have to make a DC 
15 <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Against a rock? <laughs> it's casting a spell. Oh, it's casting a spell. Okay. Slow. Well, that's even better. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that's a 19 to save. Hey. Oh, one or more target creatures within 10 feet. It has to be closer then. So it gets close to you guys, and all three of you guys have to make saving throws. What was your roll, Larry? 19. 19 is a save. Uh, Prontero, Holy Swiss. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Plus two, uh, Prontero. And what kind of what kind of spell is he casting? Slow. Slow. Is that a charm? No. It's it's like in uh, Zootopia. Like, what do you call? <laughs> The sloth. the sloth at the DMV. Yep. Yeah. Flash. I did Flash. not save. Got an eight. Okay. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I I'm, I have advantage against being charmed. So if it's a charm spell, it's your, not, still not a charm. Still not a charm. It's okay. Not Check a charm. In. Give me a roll. Just checking. Didn't get an answer. I answered you last time. I wasn't asking you, Mister Know It All. <laughs> Yep. So I I know Troy missed. I have an eighteen. That's a save, Larry. Larry had nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. He was a lot of talking and yeah. He already rolled a nineteen. Thanks. All right. So Reed, you are slow. Oh, Holy Swiss, you are slowed. Um, what else is new? Yeah. <laughs> like walking in water, baby. Right. Yeah, at least you're not like hit deep in water. Yeah. I can't click on it, so I gotta open another. At least you're out of half your hit points, Troy. Link. Right. Uh you have half your speed. Nice. Nice. Minus two to your AC. Oh really? And oh, dexterity saving throws. Mm-hmm. I don't like the minus two AC, but that's okay. Because okay. yeah, you're you know, trying to do dodging is part of your armor class, so it makes sense that you lose a little bit of that. How you much was it. your shroud giving you? Did it basically just nullify the shroud that you had around you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you get AC? I, I don't get any AC from that. That's that's oh, damage. Okay. It's oh, just damage. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was a defense. Sorry. Nope. Sweet. Huh? Figured. Learned something. Okay. Gotta move closer. Cast slow. All right. Uh, this guy moves up next to that golem and it's going to cast Scorching Ray on Holy Swiss. Uh, I have to burn. roll to hit. I have to roll to hit. Uh, three rays. What the hell? Two, seven, and seventeen. Uh, so you get hit by one. This does a uh, twenty-one hit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm two about. below. Okay. So you take four points of fire damage. Four points. Okay. Yeah, no, from no a scorching, deal. scorching ray. No big, no big deal. You lost your eyebrows, right? It's green flame. Green Tis but flame. a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. All You're right, um, and that is the. So these are two apprentice characters. Um, oh, okay. so are they wizards' that? apprentices? 
No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a wizard here. <laughs> We're supposed to say that. <laughs> what? Nothing. All right, uh, the other one's going to attack Prontero since <clears throat> We're gonna spread it out. And do the same thing. Scorching Ray. Uh, what's the bonus? Plus four. So 12, 20, and 23. A hit. 20 and 23 hit. Okay. So you take... 15 points total... From both scorching rays of fire 15, of green 15, flame. 15 green fire. Flame. <laughs> so in uh, acquisitions incorporated, everyone yells green flame when you hear the word green flame. Green flame. So if you ever go to PAX Unplugged, <laughs> okay. sit in on a thing. It's like a the secret word on Pee Wee's playoffs. Like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. But there's also All another right. one, too. That's my turn. You guys are up. Uh, Prontero's on deck. Oh, sorry. Prontero's up and Anand's on deck. Okay. I am going to. Order, death, kill. Fire, fire. Okay. What's the, who's the close? What's the closest mob? Something just hit me. Something cast. Oh, that they're on against the wall over there. There's uh, a apprentice over here. Here, there's a wizard and a golem. You got all kinds of things. Uh, How are we doing? Uh, rec recommendations. Does anyone want to do a, a, a break real quick? I would. Yeah, I need to feed the cats. Let's do uh, five minutes, and we'll come back with. I just went, and Prontero's on on. Up to, up. Is that okay? Sweet. Yeah, no harm. It's been a lot with Friday night breaks. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So there's the clicker, and there's a video.
Video over, or I didn't have my headphones on. Hmm. Good question, Frontero. Probably a good plan. All I have to be worried about is the wizard, but I mean, I mean, I guess I mean, I mean everybody's doing area effects. I mean, how where do I want to be? This session is brought to you by. <laughs> Not sponsored. Best helicopter uh, Lego ever made. That's awesome. Not sponsored Lego. So, all right. All right. But if you want or to. Where my map went. What was that? There it is. I said not sponsored by Lego, but Lego if you want to. <laughs> right. No, sure. I can bring Lego. Let me some Lego. No. Here you go. Here, or we could do the Ace Hardware <laughs> store. <laughs> oh, that's what? Sweet. What? That is so awesome. Yeah, from Ace Hardware. They're their own little Lego. What? Store. When was that? Oh, what's that? Is that actual Lego? Or when was that? Well, no, it's 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 a compatible. And then oh. there's the. Uh, it's super cool. <laughs> I also have this a, like a semi truck from it too. Hmm. Wow. And it was at Ace Hardware? Yeah, it was from Ace Hardware. It was like it was like last year sometime, I can't remember. Oh, hmm. Neat. A friend of mine told me that they are having them, so I ordered them and I picked them up. We didn't get those here. Yeah, I never saw them and I'm at I'm at Ace Hardware all the time getting, Same getting here. these. I or, I ordered it online and have it shipped shipped, shipped to the store, so a friend of I, I think TJ, I think mean, it was TJ. Somebody told me that they they had them up in Chicago, and they didn't have them at my local store, but I could ship them to my store, so I just did that. Hmm. Like, honey, I just shipped my pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my pants? Like, honey, I just shipped my Lego. When's the D&D set supposed to come out? June? June? March. Or April. April. Oh, maybe April. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I can't get into the big ones for March. I got to get door dashing. <laughs> and yeah. the new, uh, it's so new Star Wars, too, right? Okay. May the 4th, yeah. There's no such thing as new Star Wars with Lego. <laughs> I don't know. Those mini scale, those mini scale it's sets. It's regurgitated cool. Lego. I do like those mini scale sets, yeah. I, no, I don't, it's I don't, actually yeah. uh, core, or the Tantive 4 corridor is new. Yeah. Yeah. The invisible hand is new. I don't think that's been out yet. The young Jedi ones. Yeah. I want so many things out of them still. It's a, what's the name of that yeah. from Andor that like had the laser that had like laser swords he spun around like uh from Ahsoka? No, from Andor. The um the Inquisitors. Oh. No, no, not the Inquisitor. It was like it was the the Republic like spy guy. Oh, um, uh, Lucian's. Lucian's, ship. yeah. That's oh, I want. That I, want awesome. a, I want that in a UCS. That I would buy a UCS. That that's one of my favorite scenes from any Star Wars. Yeah, game. that was that's like the coolest. So awesome, cool especially at the time when you first watch it. That was such a great scene. Oh, it was just like when uh, they did the the sonic bomb in the Boba Book yes. of Boba Fett too. But that was all the way back in in episode two. That was like, mm -hmm. yeah, but you just like, hadn't seen like, it used in like forever, and it was like, mm -hmm. it was just like the perfect use for it too. It was like, I just watched episode two the other night. Yeah, it's just so great. 
You just watched what? Episode two to what? One of the few highlights of a Boba Fett series was the use of that bomb again, I believe. Yeah. Or was that in Mando? I don't know. No, that was. What was that in? Yeah. That, might have been no, that was that was that was Mandalorian. Yeah, never mind. It was Mandalorian season two? Yeah, because he never leaves the ship in Boba Fett. That was when they were trying to uh, <coughs> infiltrate and get information to find out where uh, where they were. With, uh, what episode are you watching, Larry? Uh, I just finished watching episode two. Of what? Uh, of the movies. Oh, Star Wars episode. Uh, Attack of the Clones. Oh, oh. Attack of the Clones. It's... Right. We forgot about that. For the first time? No. Yeah. No, no never had never seen it. I heard it's really time. good, so I figured I'd watch it. <laughs> Larry, where have you been? So, Prontero is asking questions in chat for suggestions as to strategize. Mm -hmm. Yep. Private chat. I would, I would focus. I would focus on the golem. Somebody but, figure out the doorway, but the, the archway. But the, but the, we, need, we, so, need to, we need to disable the archway. So we need get in here we need someone to to take the golem's attention, which is probably going to be you. Read you and Troy are the best things to soak up damage. So I, I understand yeah, that, but if if you. But if you if we do that, then you guys with area effects can't attack those three things there. You have to concentrate on single targets. We want to hit the stuff behind it more, anyways. We'd rather hit the mages than well. The then golem. you got to make sure. Then if I go that way, you got to make sure that your area effect spells don't hit me, because you'll kill me. I mean, I'm not too neat. I'm I'm doing. I'm thinking. Damage. I mean, if you do an area effect spell right on that middle apprentice, won't that kind of hit the wizard and the golem, and then? We can, the golems are big enough. We can hit the back of the golem and not be because I I can focus it so it doesn't hit me. Fire! I'm not going to hit people with the fireball. But I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, I mean, the, you so, guys hey, already hit us in friendly fire already. That's why I'm worried about. I'm worried about. I mean, they're going to throw. I mean, I, I hit yeah. you when I was hitting a bunch of other stuff because you can take the damage. Yeah, they're all you lined up. Get any damage up to that point when that happened? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I had. I had already taken like fifteen or something. So you taken yeah. less than. I'm just I'm here. just saying we've got powerful things to kill, and you guys have good area effect spells. If you if you if you if we move in there, if Holy Swiss and I move in there, your holy your area effect spells are going to have less effect, or you're going to take us out with those. With Correct. The, with the it's more so, important okay. to keep the golems off of us, and we can limit our area of effect spells. The worst thing is if yeah, the golem gets to us, I don't know. Then Actually. I'm going in there, but then I'm, then if I, I've hey, only read, ever hit you once. Read, and hey, read, 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 read. Last read, session, read. you don't have to worry about it. Hey, Kevin, I'm a strategist. I mean, I think it's I think it's going to blow up in our face. But I will do what you're thinking I should do. I think it's going to blow up in our face. But that's okay. fine. Eric's well, trying I to tell you hit, something. Yeah, I can hit. Look, like, with the way the golem, the apprentice, and the wizard are lined up, I can throw a wall of fire like in a row, lined up with them, and hit all three of them. If you want to take out the guy that's um, on the other side of the rock column. Well, and, that's what um, I was thinking of doing. That's yeah, that's what because I can. I, I, yeah, because if I throw wall fire, it's gonna hit them, and if they go through it again, because like because if if the wizard stays, if they stay on that side of the wall, they're gonna have to take saving throws as long as they're within ten feet of it. So you're saying Reed shouldn't take on the golem? Well, the thing. Well, I oh, mean, we've only got one golem. But, never mind. But you, but you, but Swiss is right there too, though. To take. Yeah, I keep thinking that second golem still alive. The oh, second golem, yeah, the that rock one's dead. It's the fire one. Yeah. I mean, those those guys are all in there the line. Right Thank there. you, Jesse. Sorry. See, those three guys <laughs> yeah, are no. right in the line there. That's what I was thinking. But yeah, I can if, throw if a wall. We've got one right there. big wizard left. Go after the big wizard. Yeah. If the other two are apprentices, go after the big wizard. Yeah, we'll run up and but, hit him. Okay, he's already. Yeah. He's already oh, sorry, I thought there were two golems. That's what I was. Put that guy about. there because you can't just. I can't run through that yep. dead golem. I gotta right. run. I gotta run by. <laughs> I mean, you can go up that. and over. If I go, go to the wizard, I got two op attacks of opportunity: one from the golem, one from the apprentice. Wait, I mean, where are I, you? I'm. I'm it's right there. Right. Right. Just my big ugly blue head. I'm right there. I'm right next <laughs> to the dead golem. <laughs> And so I'm gonna run. Run. I was going to run. I I think he'll be fine. I was yep. going to skirt past the dead golem over to the apprentice on the far side. 
And that way the area sure. effect spells that you guys do can concentrate on the golem, the apprentice, and the wizard. No, 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 don't, no, 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 don't no, worry no, about no, area no. effect. That's take yeah, just go for try to get the bigger guy, but whatever. As long as someone's on the golem and we try to I, take I will be on the golem. Possible. I'm right there, I'll be on the golem. Sounds good. Well, now was now somebody was looking a little rough earlier. Was that the red That's wizard the back the main wizard? Yeah, I'm about to smash yes. him. Can, can face, I bro. can I get to him, Jesse, without causing any air, uh, attacks of opportunities? Can I get to him? That's the question. Um, I don't think I can. That's what. You'd have to I've... run around the long way. And there's a guy over here. Still. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I had, to, he had to leap over the rock, guy. I mean, we've no. got. You, I mean, I would think that I can get. If you want to leap over the rock, guy, I'm going to have you make a deck save. Well, don't, don't you have acrobatics, Reed? I yeah. do, but I mean, just like just. I, yeah, I mean, I rolled good, but knowing the way we're going right now, I could do it. But if I it's if I call and go down, I'm going to be just a big freaking. It's your email. call, whatever you want, Reed. That's fair. Don't do think, do. just do. Rage. Uh, uh, let me say this. Just let me say this to help, Reed. If you don't go behind them, you're probably okay. <laughs> because well, area, if effect an area effect. If I throw an area effect, my I'm going to hit Reed. Yeah. Area yeah. effect could be my hand. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yeah. So you got all this space to work with. Yeah, that's I, I, you know, I'm thinking engaged, if you're engaged with one of those guys, we can hit two of them with area of effect without hitting you. So if you if jump you off the golem him, and hit this guy and land behind him, it's probably a bad spot. Yeah, yeah, I'll hit you. I'm thinking if I went to it because I mean, Larry, you're still you're still levitated, right? So Larry can probably shoot a couple flaming arrows at the wizard and kill the wizard from or where like he's you. at. And I can go after the I'll, apprentice. I'll kill the wizard there's, with my wall. Yeah, there's just a lot of turns between now yeah. and then, though. No, I, he, I go, and Nan goes, aims, as soon as she goes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, yeah, between you. But, I mean, they might be dead. But I'm thinking if I go after the apprentice, which is, like, fresh, and I get two chances to hit him, I mean, then he's hitting. He's tar he's going to hit me, and I'm going to go after anybody else. That's not the worst idea. Far. Can he leap over the rock golem corpse yeah. and hit the guy there on the on – the, I think I should be able to run wizard. around him. I'm just gonna or keep whatever. Going. You can do whatever you want in the dungeon. Right? Okay. I am going. I am going to run over to the apprentice on the far side of the wall near the other down apprentice on the other side of the golem. So I'm going. Yep, right there. I'm going to okay. hit that apprentice do it. In, in front of. Me. There you go. That's the. Do it. Yep. Okay. That's the move. Go ahead. Roll an attack. Uh, that would be twenty six to hit, sir. That would just barely hit. Big miss. That's bad. Hey, Amy, do you remember how we uh, Amethystia? Sorry, Nikki. You remember how we took down? We shut down the white portals in the other areas. Um, would you, yeah. you just use the key we had? So my thought was, if we could throw one of the red wizards in there. Well, but there's got to be a way to turn this off. No, yes, I agree. We activate the white portals to go through them. Right, I get that. Can we do something similar with these? Mm, good question. I can do an arcana check and see if there's any glyphs around, or he did see those glyphs around in the room. So that would be 18 slashing and 9 fire, which I'm sure he's probably resistant to since he's a fire apprentice wizard. I'm trying to see one thing. But is your weapon magic? It is magical, but yeah. still fire magic. Right? Yeah, that's fine. We'll let the DM sort that out. And then I'm going to swing the fire axe again. Fire okay. That will probably miss. That is going to be a 12 to hit. That misses because it has mage armor up. So you like think you're going to strike true, but like a, a, a shield of, of green Reflected. shield. Green shield. <laughs> green okay. That okay. would be my turn. All right, that is Prontero, round two, Anan. All right, I'm going to cast uh, Wall of Fire right in front of the, the big golem, the uh, apprentice guy there, and the, um, the wizard. All right. So they'll have to roll All a 15-dex. That's perfect. 
perfect, then I'll cast Ice Storm to cancel it out. So you're going to do <laughs> Wall of Fire, just like, like in that? Fr- in, in, in front of them. In front of them. In front of them. Yeah, yeah. I won't do what I was going to do. <laughs> Straight across the room? Oh, but I can't. Well, because the thing is, like, like if that? I cast it in front of them, if I cast it in front of them, yeah. If I cast it in front of them, they're going to take the initial damage. Then if they stay within 10 feet of that side of it, then they're going to take damage again. Yeah, it'll and keep they doing damage it, to them. Or they if they go through it, they're going to take damage again. So it's like, yeah. so they yep. so now they're, they either have to go through it or walk backwards, you know. So they're gonna have to get uh, I up. will allow it. What's the <laughs> save? Uh, uh, 15 decks for... That's a miss and a miss and a... Safe, maybe. Um, I'm going to say the golem saved. So, what's the damage? Uh, those that did not save 18 damage, and then those that did save 9 damage. Because for the white ones, didn't we just have to attune with the crystals just to go through? That sounds right. Yeah. Wizard's dead. Nice. Nice. Way to go. And that's your turn, or I don't know what else you can do from the hallway. That's all I'm doing. Ames? So, I guess. So, yeah. Talk about, talk to me. Okay. What, I want to what do, do you want to try? I can describe the archway. Why don't you give me a roll for Arcana? Arcana? Okay, perfect. Sure. That was my plan. Do, 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 do. Well, that's not the best plan, but. Um, 13. So, again, from this side of the room, <laughs> you're not sure. Mm-hmm. But you do think the copper trim piping mm-hmm. uh, may have an effect because it's not glowing white. Does that make copper sense? Trim. Am I am I so there's a white arch stone right, right. archway, but it has copper copper trim piping. Right, which is what you have those copper pieces on there. I got that. Um I wonder if electrifying it would work. Or don't maybe a shatter spike, maybe well, I see it's too far away, but I mean I don't know if we want to destroy these. No, I know. I mean if we destroy one, we can yeah, actually get through. Yeah. Right, I was thinking maybe you could hit the just the copper piping on it, but but, but my guess is it's gonna keep the wizards out when we get to take care of this, but Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, just to speed things up, uh, yeah. touching the copper might be enough. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Thank you. So I will touch the copper on the. Yeah. Well, it, it does something. <laughs> um, just like a fork in an outlet. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one, like, this is fun. Larry, might just shoot might, lightning. Might take a couple people to. It smells hold. like roasted genasi. I mean, can we do like Shalindra and I, one on one side, one on the other, and hold hands, kind of like an escape room puzzle? Can I kill both of you? No. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that to open doors. It would complete a circuit. Come on. Exactly. Always make sure you're grounded whenever you touch a live wire. Well, we're in a dungeon. Okay, so the stone archway that you touch turns blue. That song starts playing. (laughs) Um, Blue. blue, Now it turns blue. Um, Blue, baby. Um, Do a chance going through? Now you can push Shalindra through. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Shalindra, you go, and then I'll go. 
I can hold my action and have her is it go. Her turn? She is after you, or she was Pushed holding her? some action. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me. Uh, what do you it's call it? Uh, persuasion Wait, or intimidation? How do you want uh, to ask oh, Shalitra no. to? I'd have to drink something from my horn before that would even work. But I can roll. <laughs> then we'll see what happens. Um, I'll tell okay. you a minute. But first, let's drink. So, one, can I just have my goats attack the ones that are left? <laughs> no, let, well, let's keep doing the gate here. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yep, I'll roll first. Okay, that would be a seven. So, absolutely horrible intimidation and persuasion. It's the same. Well, which one? Um, persuasion. Persuasion. Persuade, yeah. I don't, I wouldn't see Ames <laughs> trying to get through that portal. I mean, you could certainly try, but uh, you know what you really want to do is walk through this. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a roll. So, okay. it'll be a, a roll. You know, you got an eight. We'll do uh, your persuasion versus her persuasion, I guess. Go for it. I got a four plus five, nine. Nine. I'm not going through. Blue's not my color. Sorry. Uh, nine. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Too bad for I'll actually like. So you still have potential actions. You uh, so just walk through the door. Touching the I copper was a teleport. free action. What? Touching the copper was a free okay. action. Great. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, yeah. The electric there line, it are there any cool. alive goats left? I'm sure is what her question. Yeah, there are. But oh, yeah. that's another turn for them. Um, okay. So fire-wise, what's still on fire, and would I be safe going in there? Uh, the fireball hit, but it, the fireball is not a lasting effect. The okay. wall of fire is right. a lasting effect uh, in front of uh, along this line. Okay, I'm going to walk through the archway and then skirt around the corner to where... Make a constitution it. saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Well, obviously the wizard wasn't causing the problem. All that work. Oh, that worked for nothing. It did something. It, it, it changed it blue. Why did maybe I? Um, I'll figure it out next time. Get it. I don't, I don't know. I'm sucking. just reading these traps. <laughs> I am sucking at rolling. I get an eight. Uh, oh. you take five points of force damage and fall prone, <laughs> uh, or uh, shoved ten feet into this dead golem. Wow. <laughs> The blink goats are like licking your wounds. Okay. okay. Uh, or maybe the from the other yeah. side. <laughs> and now my blink goats get to go. Yes. I mean, you have teleportation stuff. I do. Yeah. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna teleport in there, but I, and then I changed my mind, so we're good. I okay. Took my yeah. Hand, yeah. Turn, yeah. Somebody had to try. Me? So. Yeah. Exactly. So my goats get to go now. Goats can go, yes. Okay, goats are going to... They have three oh, goats. Oh, yeah. Might as well go after the apprentice, because otherwise they got to go through fire to get the other one. This ones, guy's right? closest. I can blink, though. I can oh. Oh, blink, blink. You don't, you don't, you don't want to be on the other side of the fire. And you I can't can blink. blink. They're teleportion. They're teleportating goats. They're called blink oh. goats. <laughs> No, but where yeah. they land is what I'm saying. If I go behind, oh yeah, it, if yeah. the fire if the fire is in front, they could blink behind. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. You don't understand. If the the a... damage the damage of the fire is when you're behind it. So if you go behind my wall of fire, you'll take damage. If you're standing in uh, front of my wall, you won't. It's take damage. not. It's not an area of. No, it's if a, you're yeah, you take, ten feet, you take damage. If you're in ten feet of the bad side, you oh. take damage. If yep. you're. Okay. So, so the I will go blink behind the apprentice. This one? That one, yeah. Yeah, the one that's, that's got my attention blink. for the moment until the goat. It's more like show. a, it's more like a sure. wall of flamethrower. Blink, blink. It's like a, it's like a shroud actually, a shroud Ooh. of flame, cloud of flame. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm a thick wall. It's a flame tapestry. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not if you guys know what you're talking about. Hey. The vapor. The vapor. Yeah, we're learning. We're 16. learning a lot of like, man, so much. Just I can't wait for campaign two. <laughs> well, a fire that's so far off before you can cast that. I know, but like, just I don't know. We're learning a lot. So blink goats, and then they attack. Sixteen. Sixteen to hit the apprentice. That will hit. Awesome! Awesome! All right. Three, so one roll for three goats. Yep. We're gonna do two d four plus three. We're going to do another seven damage bludgeoning. And they didn't charge this time since they blink. So they seven don't get times it. three. No, just seven. Times oh yes, seven times three. Sorry, yeah, twenty-one. Three goats, twenty-one. <laughs> I apologize. And is there some sort of charging? No, they didn't because they blinked. Yeah. I don't think they can still charge. They got to so. run in. Yeah. Yeah, it's at least twenty feet straight ahead. That sounds good for your turn. Yep, that's fine. Mine. Very good. Nice job. Shalindra is like, yep, I told you that blue. And, <laughs> um, but she will take a crossbow shot from the doorway without stepping through. Sound good? Yeah. Got two shots Ooh. at the apprentice. That is, let me pull her up here, plus nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. She'll hit, hit. Finally. And. That is four plus four plus four. Twelve points of damage to this apprentice, and that one is out. So uh, the goats attack. Shalindra just pew, 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 two crossbow pulls. Shalindra, oh, And the blink goats are like <laughs> starting to gnaw. And it's like <laughs> they're hungry. Okay. Yeah, they're like blinking around, getting hungry. It's like, like. When the Hulk gets, uh, or wait, the Flash is hungry after his superpower. Exactly. Okay. Um, that's Shalindra. Holy Swiss, you're up. Oh, you are okay. slowed. Okay. But you also have Spirit Guardians. Oh, yes, I still have it up. How is far really out are they? Or what do you want to do? Because I think they're definitely effective if you. It is. A 15 a foot get rid of sphere. Go ahead and roll spirit guardian damage to the golem. All right. First, if you want. Got 18 points of okay. radiant damage. Then you can do whatever you want because that's um, just a free action. Do you believe that I? Would be able to take a swing with my sword without being affected by the wall of fire. Uh, I doubt it. At the at the golem. No. No. <clears throat> okay. Um. Not a swing. Not a swing. You mean you can throw? I don't want to throw my sword. <laughs> just, <check yourself. laughs> just saying. Yep. A swing or, is going to affect. Or a spell or anything. Uh. Well, I mean, I could. What? Why don't you throw the other golem at the new golem? <laughs> Dang, how strong do you think I am? Uh, the strength of 25. Holy Super crap. Super strong. <laughs> you think I could pick that thing up? I don't want to squash. What if I... Holy no, cow. I, I'm not going to try that. I don't even know. Just pick, up a, pick, up a goat, pick up a dead goat and throw at it. Pretty large. That's huge. I'm not going to drown. <laughs> I'm going to give you... Uh, I mean, if you want to try, it'll be a high DC. <laughs> All right. How, you know what? How about we just? How about we try to pull off a part of his body oh, part? Arm of the golem. Yeah, his Get the arm. arm off. There you go. Or, um, well, we'll yeah, call it a draw. I mean, there are just random stones there, but also your weapon could probably pull an arm off. 
but that would probably be your action. Mm. All right, we'll just pick up a stone then, I guess. Okay. Pick up a stone and throw it at the stone guy. <laughs> I mean, might as well throw or, it at the or, huh? Might as well throw it at the apprentice then, because the apprentice will be a little bit more fleshy than that stone golem. Yeah, true. Where's yeah. Where's provolone? I mean, I could. Well, that would be my action though, to to summon him. What about guiding bolt? Guiding Bolt, I can only use it once per long rest. No. So. Oh, yeah, I <sighs> yeah I'll, I'll just, yeah, let's just throw a stone at the at the apprentice. Okay. Try and Go knock ahead. him out. Go ahead and uh, make it an attack roll. An attack roll? Yeah, you're throwing an like object a, like as a, a we ranged uh, weapon. Add your dex bonus to your throw. A dex, so a dex throw. Yeah, if you have a throw on there as an option. Uh, Let me look. I do. Uh, no. Just roll a d twenty. I mean, right. d twenty. <laughs> Let's do it. High or low, I can help you out here. That's a seven. Nah. Uh, Doesn't do it. Well, it goes forward. <laughs> it misses him. I'll give you a. Uh, Troy is still in single A. <laughs> Give you a plus wow. two, so nine. Yeah, that misses. Okay. And you're like, mm. in slow motion, this rock just yeah. It's not working. Try to throw, and it falls way short. <laughs> as soon as it leaves his hand, it just. Boom. Can I try again with another one? Uh, um, you have. Uh, you can definitely do. Um. You can do two attacks. I want to say picking up and throwing is probably both your action attack okay. things. All right. Especially with the slow speed. Yeah. All right. Yeah, pretty slow. Yep. Yep. How does he get out of it? Uh, you. Darn it. I keep. Who, who casted uh, the slow on him? Uh, the golem did, and it's still, it's still alive. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wondered if it, if a creature is alive that casted it. Right. Yeah, no. The golem cast it. Yep. That was the okay. wildest thing good. is the golem had some magic ability. Oh, got it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, da, 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 you, got, you got that Kargarek great wizard behind him so we should be Vision can make another wisdom saving throw at the end of its turns so make a wisdom saving throw okay cool <laughs> oh i'm sorry that wasn't it no nope. oh shoot. <laughs> dang it it's a nine you're still <laughs> slow all right uh that's fine um Argaric. Um, still no idea on this door. Um, if I, I, it blue. if I hey, hey. touch it one more time, the copper part does it change colors again? Yes, what it color turns. Does it, change to? it turns uh, metallic lime green. Green, haha! <laughs> There's the green. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not going crazy. Metallic pea green, like the family truckster. And it wasn't green before, correct? Like this no, it was color? White and then white? blue and then green. Okay. Um. Monk. I might as well try to walk through. All right, give me a constitution saving throw. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oh, you haven't even entered the room yet. Yeah, there's three people. Oh, outside. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Two and a half hours later, you're not even in the room. <laughs> yeah, I've done my it's only my third round. Yeah. I've done I my share. I was just, it just feels like so long. 
What you got? Uh, 16. Uh, that's a save. Yeah, nice. We have a whole other room to get to tonight. So you can <laughs> you can continue with movement and or action. Okay. And then there's the golem and the apprentice, apprentice on the other side of the wall, right? Wall of right. The, yep, they're on the other side of the firewall. All right. Um, might as well hit him with another fireball. Okay. <laughs> You should not put it on my fire this time. Is that a deck save? <laughs> yes, uh, deck 16. Ooh, 19 and a 20. Both save. Are those the new dice again, Jess? Mm-hmm. Nice they're better. Dang, it's starting to get warmed up. They're, they're, yeah, I know. They're, they're, they're starting to like settle in here. It's not oh, yeah, good. I'm not giving these dice up. I like this set. Nothing really wow, that's a decent roll. Uh, I got some old dice I can use. That's not a decent roll. Alright, so they take 12 points of damage each. Okay. Fire damage. Um, hey, buddy. And then I'm going to just look at the doorway, the portal um, from the front and see if I notice anything before turning back to face forward. Okay. Um, why don't you give me an arcana check now that you're on this side of the archway? Apparently all the good information is on this side. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Or not. Eleven. You're you're like sure that the copper piping would should be doing something, but you're not positive. Okay. Right there with you, Cagra. Right there with you. <laughs> oh, it's definitely doing something. It's making it all pretty and colorful. Toasty. <laughs> or is the copper piping? Right back there. The archway. By where? The archway. Do you see the gold studs? It's on. It's on. It's the, the archway is over each doorway. Yeah. Did he take any damage from my firewall? Hmm? What's going on? What? I said, could the archway be taking damage from the firewall? Uh, uh you don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. No. <laughs> it could be. Why don't you go find out? Um, <laughs> where are we at? Uh, Should we top the order round three, I believe. Thank you, yes. Good round three. <laughs> Only two and a half hours in. We're in round three. Yes. <laughs> round room by Chaos room. Room. Lots hey. of strategizing. That's how we survive. One lifetime. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to levitate further up in the air another 20 feet. Keep right. Yes. Get some range as I do so. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on the Golem. Okay. Is his head Man. squished against the ceiling at this point? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how high these ceilings are. Dungeon don't worry. 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay. Uh, and I uh, start pulling out some uh, hot sticks. Pew, pew. And so I shoot. Now I've got a 10 feet. Shoot at the golem. Oh gosh, that's, that's only a 19 to hit. That will hit. Pitiful. I know. Pitiful. Uh, that is uh, plus, plus, plus five. Um, 11 piercing damage with an additional four for Hunter's Mark and an additional three fire. Damage. Okay. 18. Second arrow. Natural one. Mm. You are not playing. You're going to get my cards out here? I love getting my cards out. Shit! Oh. <laughs> hey, luckily. Larry is not having the night of his life. Uh, hey, good news, Larry. There's nobody in front of you. This thank time. God. There's a couple of us to the side of you, but we're not in front of you. So we're Don't try this side of you. <laughs> 
It's okay. I just bounce off my shiny blue head, anyways. Give it some. Give it a nice glow. I'm just putting all the cards in. We haven't had enough. I think the one is a miss. I think the one is a miss. It could be some crazy, crazy legendary failure. Jesse's getting excited right now. <laughs> we, haven't had, we haven't had very many ones lately. It's, yeah. He needs to get excited. You you warm warm yourself? Yourself? <laughs> All hey, right. Uh, I, had one. I had one a couple weeks ago. I was the last one to have a one, I think. So. Tell me when to stop, Larry. Stop. Okay. <laughs> and that is embarrassing. Uh, which that sums is, it up. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> not that bad. Uh, wrist strain. This attack <laughs> was made with a thrown weapon. Mm. Um, it's still weapon. Yeah. <laughs> hit his, his wrist with you his take 1d6 damage. So you take 6 damage. Oh, <laughs> life, dude. That's a that's a bad strain there, buddy. So like, yeah, like you reach. I like pull the string uh, back and it rips my ear off. <laughs> the, the bow doesn't break, but the arrow probably does. Yeah, and it like like strikes you and slashes your wrist. Cool. You like sneeze as you're shooting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, was that? And that's my turn. That's your turn. Okay. Well, at least it was on your second one. Right. Yeah. Well, they get to go. Um, I got two guys left. Uh, Gollum. 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 Uh, let's do slams on Paladin. Bring it. Thirteen or fifteen no. to hit? No. Bad <laughs> rolls. Very disappointed with his rolls. <laughs> yeah, I got a five and a seven. And there's yeah. another seven. Uh, well, what is this guy going to do? I just spoke too soon, but we're probably getting towards the end. Let's do this because it sounds cool. Um, four slots of magic? Okay. Uh, burning hands. Uh... You need to make a dexterity saving throw, which I think you have disadvantage with your slow. What? Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think you did say that. Uh, yep. Minus 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 two to a dex save. So make a make a two two dex two save rolls. with disadvantage. Yeah. Well, I guess it wasn't a disadvantage. But it's minus two only. Uh, I guess six and or minus two or whatever. A nineteen. So it's a six. So it's a six, plus whatever your bonus is. It it, uh, it already adds it, I think. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna take full damage from some burning hands. Mm. That is three d six fire. It's a burning Hans. Mm -hmm. Hans Gruber. Yeah. <laughs> I've got. Three of my new dice that match. Uh, Eleven points Eleven. of damage. Fire. Feels like Diablo just breathed on me. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Uh, no, it got closer to you. And, um, like... Now, it walked through the like, wall of fire. It raised you with its hand, and you're, like, burning... Burning from the outstretched fingertips. Ouch. And that's their turn. And Ian, you're muted. Yes, the ouch. He takes damage. Yeah, he's going to take five day damage going through the wall. So. Oh, okay. Can you so roll that? Do... He's still going to oh, get the geez. deck save, too. Um, take half see. damage. 16. Huh? What was that? He still gets Sorry. a deck save, big half damage as he goes through, correct? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, take a deck save. Nope. Is it 15 or higher? It, no. So, uh, then he takes 16 damage going through the wall. 
So he's gonna die while he does this to try. <laughs> at the same time. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Great. Awesome. That's beautiful. He does that. He's uh, charged. Uh, he's crit. on fire, casting burning hands. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, casts it, he casts it, walks like, to the uh, fire, dies, and as he dies, his hands graze yeah. holy Swiss as he's We need a picture of this. Yes. Kevin we can Hinkle. Re- mini the Kevin Hinkle? Hinkle? Yeah. Put the, put the flame sticking out of the hands. Oh, man, I would commission him to do so much artwork if I could. It's true. Um, Thayan, Thayan Apprentice is down and out, and I believe I attacked... Yep. <laughs> Troy with both my characters. Yep. And we're on to Prontero. Well, uh, uh, I'm going to step over. I'm going to step over all these uh, burning dead bodies uh, and head to the golem now. I might as well walk over to him. And uh, There is a wall of fire. Oh, um, yeah. you know, then I actually, you know, I'll hold my, I'll hold my action because I got, I got magic dealers. I'll just hold my axe where I'm at. Yeah, you can walk right. through wall of fire, Frontier. You, 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 ju- you can jump over the rock. He's going to pet the goat. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go hang out with the goats here on top yeah, of I'm, this yeah, rock. I'm, I'm petting the goats. Okay. I'm, I'm a nan. Uh, uh, a nan can go next. You're outside the hallway still and has not approached the room. At some point, to get to the next room, you have to answer. So while I'm but, concentrating. There is a way to get through this door. But I think he's concentrating on the wall of fire, so he needs to stay right Yeah, I can't move. I'm concentrating, so my turn okay. would be rolling a save for the golem, I guess. So he'd have to roll a deck save. Okay. That's a one. Or what is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So is that critical damage anyway? <laughs> That's critical failure. I, uh, it's not one of these though <laughs> no, I think he has to be attacking the saving throw yeah, yeah. right let's see that yep. will be I mean I'll give you a bonus but tell me what the normal thing is uh 28 <laughs> damn <laughs> like you need it actually no wait sorry 29 because one of them was a one so it should be 29 all right, I'll give you a bonus. Okay. That burns away some features on this half formed. Uh, oh, so his remote entry is tur- burned away now? Are we seeing some entrails now or what? Never mind, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a stone creature, so no. Uh, Just rock anything hard, else you got or? That's it. Yeah, what else you got? Think of it as a geode. What else you got? Well, I could burn some sorcery points, but I'm concentrating. I can't. Aim syrup. Okay, so I need to stand up. Oh my gosh! I forgot what <laughs> happened to you there. <laughs> oh yeah, you got forced. Yep, go ahead. I was stepped on her as I walked over there. Half Looking your movement. Idea. Half movement, and I should be. Able- Hold on, two seconds. I have to see something because I'm not sure. If I... It's just the golem left. I know. Can I teleport behind them with 60 feet still? Because I didn't move. You'll only, you'll only take damage from the, the firewall if you're within 10 feet of the bad side. So right. if you go so you be able to further than 10 feet. feet behind the wall, you'll be okay. So you stand up and teleport? Like yep. you're Probably behind this rock pile, probably. That's my bonus action. Okay. And my action is going to be. <sighs> Another. Oh, do I really want to use that right now? I don't really want to do that. Can I say the blink goats follow you? They, they were going to. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, they wanted to go near the. Mama! Oh. On oh, their movement, they're going to the golem. Just a heads up. Um, they're going to ram through the wall of fire. They're, just gonna, they're gonna melt as they. As they <coughs> I mean, <laughs> burning goats. They might, or they'll just. They have charging distance from there. 
Uh, yeah, they might have momentum. They might just do what the uh, apprentice did. They as they as they <laughs> launch and charge, they'll launch and as they're torching and dying, they'll still hit the golem and do some damage. I was like, what do you mean don't eat no meat? That's okay, I make lamb. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do another fairy frolic at it. Okay. Charisma DC 17, please. Charisma. Minus five from a nine. That's a four. <laughs> Definitely. All right. That's going to be eight and 11, 19, 20. That golem is not a pretty good It's not pretty. <laughs> it's like five? 25. <laughs> Psychic damage. 25. <laughs> yeah. How do you want to do this? Um, so fairies come out of their portal and they attack and just go right through it and they get and the geo goes everywhere. Because I assume there's a geode inside. <laughs> Geodes like like yeah, crystals fall out. Yep. Hopefully diamonds. I need diamonds. Uh, the, I need diamonds too. Video game diamonds? effect. <laughs> I need diamonds for resurrection. All right, stone. well done, guys. That carried on quite a bit. Oh, we still have two people outside the room. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I did but plenty we, of we work from outside the room. <laughs> I did plenty of damage from outside the room. Yes. Anytime you guys want to was... start helping out. And that was three and a, that that was three and a half. half rounds just to like two and a half rounds uh i don't know i don't want to metagame but uh shalindra mm -hmm. takes her uh takes out yeah. takes takes out larry's since somebody have a broken arrow i don't know yeah larry probably probably the one that he dropped no he snapped the, the one that the broke as he, as, he, as he hurt himself yeah. It, it it fell on her side of the wall, let's say, and she picks it up and as a non conductive piece of wood touches the copper and ah, uh it turns it. pink and she walks through freely. Uh, I should have touched it with I was stem. considering touching it a few more times. I'm like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. That's what, you had that's to... what she said. Uh <laughs> and I didn't even know this till I read more and more and more. Uh you have to. Where, I don't even know where it is anymore. But you have to touch it with a non-conductive thing. This is fair. Uh, so does each, that break the, the trap for everybody, or do I do a Constitution roll to get into this room? Uh, what do you think? Do you not have anything? Um. Oh my is, cross. Is the doorway made still out pink? Of wood. The the archway is pink now, and she freely walked through it. I think just walk through. Let's let's go through the door. You're fine. <laughs> Thanks, Shalindra. <laughs> I wink at Slendra and thank her. Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, she's um, getting a lot of winks these days. <laughs> yeah, but my charisma is pretty high, so I'm good. <laughs> All right. Uh, one point of. I I, I got to play Baldur's Gate. Um, <laughs> I got I got to put four bonus to my charisma. Shalindra approves. Um. Uh, you guys. Uh, don't make me say it. What do you want to do next? Search for treasure. Uh, yeah. Search for treasure. Body the fans. Each of the fans. Give me the loot. Sorry. Eat, uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Each of the fans has a fine chisel worth fifty gold. That would be one, two, three, four, five. 200 gold. At the feet of the golem are these geodes <laughs> that fell out of it. And um, why don't you give me an arcana check? Can I? Arcana. Yeah. yeah. Can you both? Hmm. Or who? Just me? Whoever wants to. Two. Mine's Where a plus two. Okay, mine's plus four. I'll try. Mine's plus eight. Ugh. All right, and well, I'm not... <laughs> I got ten. So this was better, but not my much. I rolled eleven. 
You guys aren't sure how much it's yeah. worth. Oh. <laughs> but you have some uh, geodes that uh, are probably valuable. Into the dive holding. Ten, They're not worth much. I'll just ten hold. pounds. Wow. Holy cow. Mm. My precious. <laughs> it's going into the bag of holding, especially if it has some diamonds in it. Yes. Shmigo? Yes, precious. Yes. Uh, the red wizard had a glyph key that attunes to this zone, so now you guys can freely move through the Gollum laboratories. That's a change of tune. Uh -huh. And if Larry's awake, can we get the map, or what do you guys want to do? I got the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Uh, I think we got to go to the black gate. I think we got to go. I think we got to go to the right. I think there's a black gate in that next room. Yeah, we got to get in the next room. Yeah. The, the room to the. It's kind of north. Lower, then... lower. The lower one actually had one. Well, the north one there, the north one. Going up this north curved corridor is to the black gate. I mean, there's another one in the other room too, though. It See, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in that room, though. Where is oh, there? oh, there's one right there too. Yeah. I'm not there's sure. There's south or north. I don't know what that is in the middle. Why don't you guys take a vote? I like south. <laughs> like south Democracy. I like, I like south. south. I like south. There's at least six. Big things in this other room. Yeah, I like south. And they're guarding like all the exit, <laughs> whatever they are. Uh -huh. Yeah, but what are all the little tiny things on the ground? And undead. So you can oh, I, I mean, if rats. I rats. Rats. They're rats. <laughs> Easy kills. Easy kills. Who knows? It could be just dirt. I, I, right. I don't know. It could be a cool fountain in the middle or something. I don't know. Zoom in as close oh, as you can no to the fountain. mountain. Or into the mountain. That's, that's, the mountain. that's no fountain. It has. No, that is not a fountain. That is a bad guy. It looks like a healing well from Diablo. There we go. We're going What'd you one. say? What'd you say? It looks like a healing well from Diablo. It does. <laughs> that's where we're going. It's a forge to forge fountains in. Ooh. It could be. Or yeah. a healing well. It does have a nice uh, orange tint to it. Okay, I think the consensus was south, if I heard correctly. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. South. South. That is why I did not make this room yet. <laughs> uh, uh, let me give you guys some it? XP Ooh. while I prepare for the next thing. And uh, you guys can... Yay, lament, here. lament over well, XP. Suggestively, uh, take a short rest. <laughs> sure. Suggestively, take a short rest. Yes, I don't know. That's yeah, just probably heal. Uh, short rest. I can use a couple of my bombs of summer cord on you if you would like. Holy I shit. could use anything. Yeah, you could. <laughs> Just like licking your wounds. Are man. Today. God. So we're doing a short rest then? Next. Are we doing a short rest, yes, though? I guess so. I'm yes. suggesting it. Yes. We are doing a short rest. I was doing a okay. short rest. So Unless we want to use the grove and have a long rest. But either way, we've been on here very long or very short time. So, short, so rest. short rest means you can get short rest spell slots back if you're a sorcerer or a warlock i believe that it's effective um or use hit dice to get hit health back okay and so you could use a couple of the hit dice then yeah mine didn't should, give me back any spell points you but. should have one hit dice per level oh, okay yeah 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 and they refresh on long rest so you can only use whatever, and you have to roll for it to get hit points back from hit dice. If that makes sense. Larry, four hit points, two temporary hit points. Short rest. 
Um, I'll award you XP right now if it matters. Uh, 1500. So let me go here and see what that brings me to. Yeah, it doesn't give back spell points, at least not for me. I'm curious on you know, who I've might be close. Hit, but... the, uh... I hit short rest and none of my spell slots came back. No, it doesn't return spell slots for you. Yeah. No. <clears throat> so how do the hit dice work? How can I can I roll that? Yeah. Yeah. If you no. click on so, short rest, and I'll tell you how. Yeah, I only clicked on two. I did, and I get ranger hit die one d ten plus two up to nine, but yeah. So you so I click the two, and you still got it. Then you got to roll the die. I think too. So. Yeah. Where do I roll the die though? Just roll your own. Or you can roll it in game too. You just have to select the boxes first. Yeah. Okay, I did that. Okay, and sit and click. Take a short rest. I did, but it it doesn't do anything. Yeah, same here. It didn't do anything to my hit points. Yeah, I basically rolled two dice and just added my hit points manually. So, so when you hit the short rest button, I'm doing it for Shalindra. It tells you hit dice one d ten plus two. Uh, for her. So just roll it analog or digitally for however many hit dice you have per level. So she has one, two, three, four. She has eight for eight level eight slots of hit dice. Oh. If you're looking at D&D Beyond. Should we just do all of them? So I have nine. Okay. Well, you don't have to. You probably wouldn't want to. Yeah. Actually, when you click on it, and then it opens a, a button, and then right. you can roll the thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got it. So then what? I but it doesn't add automatically it. add it. You have to have No, it doesn't. I, just, I have to add it. Right. Holy that's Swiss. That's... I see that. Yeah, you rolled a 13. Right. Yeah. 3D, 10 I rolled plus Maybe it automatically would add it. but it's Not too great. No. I, did, I only did two, and I only got. I only ran rolled two dice, but I got some back. Some back. Okay. That's perfect. That's all I needed was <clears> that much. Yeah, sometimes I, you, you could roll them one at a time until you're good. Oh, well. Okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. I'm like good 64. Unless you're cool. I'm going to head out here pretty soon because my son has Plus a two temporary. Tomorrow. Yep. Okay. No, Kevin. Dragonborn. Do I use the temporary ones first, Nikki? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're three hours in. <laughs> I had my share of bloodshed. I, I killed some of them. Blood, 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 blood. <laughs> uh, Plus, I got to kill somebody going through my firewall. Plus, I wasn't quite prepared for the next room, so <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind uh, uh, giving a sneak peek of potentially what's next, and then theater of mind that, and then... Yeah pausing the action and we can continue out of game D D conversation slash whatever. Sure. Um, <laughs> when are we too early to start thinking about characters for the next campaign? Uh yeah, I kinda want you guys to finish this one. Um you're going you're you're like one room away from another disruption and then uh, I can either send you to the temples of extraction to at least fight one more than kind of a counter uh before i'm not sure how many of that i want to do and okay. um and ultimately you want to find the phylactery vault yeah so the, the temple of the extraction is uh one disruption away and then uh it opens teleporters that we can pop uh, basically the phylactery vault is on another plane of existence 
So we'll be in like some other like Sphinx realm where there might be some weird stuff happening. Or you guys could just go home. I mean, I'm not holding you to finishing this, you know, if you get tired and um, in some other campaigns, you would not be all taking so many long rests uh, in a dungeon crawl of this nature. Um, but I think, I think it's okay. Well, hopefully oh, wow. a lot of that area would be clear. So as you come through a second time, you would hopefully not have to do as much fighting as you, you know, come through all those rooms, you know, because you would have, you hey, the hags more. would be more friendly in the pools. You know, yes. they'd be asking, oh, you left? And be like, yeah, we left we to come back, you know. Yep. You we persuade her to say, hey, we're just, we're just going to be passing through. We're not going to be doing any damage, not disrupting your area at all we're just going through yep it. and I'll, I'll i'll lean into that if you will um the fans that you have not encountered uh, ha 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 are now guess what you know making monsters making mm -hmm. stone golems uh imprisoning turtle dragons right um to make each of these chambers uh threatening so if you were to go back to the gatehouse and come back a day later, uh, who's, who's to say everything doesn't reset? Oh, true. <laughs> oh, no. That's why we're supposed to hurry through it, is what always has been the thing, is hurry through it. Yeah. So I'm allowing some long rest in kind, um, making some mistakes on some of my stuff from last time uh, but this one was pretty true i definitely juiced it with uh uh the golems but they could have been in the next room coming through as you raise the alert level in the doom vault now that the fans are now aware of your presence on the verge of disrupting this fifth gate we're screwed no might be uh are we discussing possibly the next time we play right uh i've got a week off to do in person it's been a couple of months since i did uh in person with uh my curse of strahd campaign so um i wouldn't mind giving you guys a sneak peek of the room though if you want to stay tuned oh yes. heck yeah I'll yeah. move this to the side, and I've built this to. Um, so they've gone through um, Curse of Strahd and are tasked to find a dragon skull inside Ravenloft. Uh -huh. And they've gotten the lore clue that it is in the Hall of Bones. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what you were working on the other night. Oh. Yeah, with the bone throne. So I changed the yeah, the thrones to just simple chairs around a dining room. Um, but I knew yeah, those like cool. oh, skeleton heads everywhere. Yeah. The whole Peace room with? is basically like made of human <laughs> bones. <laughs> wow. Uh, but there is a dragon head above this archway. So I have that like over an archway kind of thing. So I'm pretty s proud of that. Nice. And uh, I should not speak any more of it because one of them might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, darn it. I forgot about that. So yeah. Anyway, there's that. I'm going to move that now. Spoiler <laughs> <laughs> well, alert. Don't publish this. Don't publish this. There's only three people watching it. No, if, uh, some of them watch on replay. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yay, I was watching you on the thing, and you didn't uh, <laughs> call the ranger out on his blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Seriously. Which blah, blah, blah is it today? No. So it's the ranger and his blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yep. <laughs> So, 
So that's also in the works. And yeah, I haven't built this next room, so thanks for pointing that out. We're going to go that direction. That'll be the fifth black gate, and then I can kind of look forward. I, you know, I'm taking this week by week, reading other uh, uh, one shot wonders and Grim Hollow stuff, and I just got so many different uh adventures but yeah kevin um you asked about yeah creating new characters i think it's a little early um but i wouldn't mind discussing that with you guys um and, and i don't know if that needs to be live so maybe we'll go we'll call it three hours here everybody cool with that yep. yeah yeah and uh, we can stay in the green room and talk some more and not worry about spoiling adventures for other part people. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for everyone tuning in and uh, thank you players. I think that was like one of the funnest. I had a really good time with that one. I'm watching some other, like, I'm, I think I'm finally getting it. Um, so I hope you guys had fun with that one. Even though yeah, it was yeah, one yeah. room that two people still didn't know, barely entered. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Hey, whoa. <laughs> All right. All right. So All right. right. Better off not being in the room. So see you in two weeks, um, pretty pretty much. And uh, we'll see who can show up yeah, for that. Two, and, yeah, two uh, weeks it'll be a little rough for me. We'll so. talk yeah, we'll talk oh. off air oh. about like Larry's door dashing and Maybe that doesn't work out. If you, then maybe we start. Maybe we start these new characters. So, so uh, we'll come back to critical breaks in uh, two weeks. And uh, I, I wish I had a sign-off thing, but someday we'll get it. You know, is it is it Friday yet? <laughs> it works. I don't know. That works. 